So, uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, haven't, haven't played this game in a hot minute. And <laughs> because of that, I think now would be the perfect time with the July update coming today and all. That, uh, we do a little retour of the entire town. I'll show everybody what state it's in. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. And, uh, yeah, we'll just get caught up on the town. Save day will now be updated to the new release version. So, the new July update came out today. Adds swimming, adds new diving creatures, uh, adds Pascal back. Gulliver's a pirate, apparently? I don't know if it makes Gulliver appear any more often, but if Gulliver is in town today, that would be amazing. But yeah, we're just gonna start out the game as usual, and uh, you'll see how horrible my town is in terms of cleanliness right now. After getting perfect, I just I just let it go. I just let it fall by the wayside. So, uh, gotta be honest. Haven't been playing the game as much as I used to. Haven't been playing every day. And when I have, I haven't really been cleaning up the place. So, I apologize. I apologize for all the mess. So, nothing much has changed as far as terraforming. But, uh... You may have noticed there's a new villager on the screen. I'll, I'll show my list of villagers and tell you exactly how my setup, how my uh, island cast has changed since the last time. It's, it's a couple of stories. It's a couple of stories and a half. Yeah, you guys doing well? You guys been playing the update? Hope you guys are hype. Did I catch a firefly last month? Are they only around for June? I did, I did. I, I was still playing. Uh, basically, I looked up what insects and what uh fish are leaving in june and there's not much so i i already had all the stuff that was going away so i didn't really bother catching or uh just catching new stuff so today's also gonna be full of catching a lot of things bugs fish it's gonna be great hello there everyone right now on holidays it's 5 15 p.m on thursday july 2nd 2020 for some time now, Nook Inc. has been exploring and studying the water surrounding our island. Ugh. My voice is not in the rest, in the best state. I've been playing a lot of voice acting games lately. I am pleased to announce that, based on their findings, the ocean's been deemed safe for swimming. It took them like three entire months to, to realize whether or not it was safe. Good. I'm good that they bothered to thoroughly check the waters. Funnily enough, just a month after sharks starting appearing. Uh, What's more, the water itself is clear and clean, which are the perfect conditions for underwater diving. For everyone's safety, we ask that you please use the proper swimwear if you plan to enter the water. Got it, no skinny dipping. You can purchase a wetsuit at either the shop or nook shopping. Oh, I can't wait to see folks out there diving, playing, and splashing. The appropriate amount, of course. Uh... Is Tom Nook gonna hire a lifeguard of any sort? I feel like that's pretty important. I put a lifeguard chair out of my beach, nobody's been sitting in it. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good right now. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is buy that swimsuit. But the very, very first thing I'm gonna do is uh put on some new clothes. You'll notice I've uh Got my construction inspector outfit on. I've been visiting other people's islands and uh, pretending to be the the, the, the safety inspector. Uh, everybody gets a passing grade because I have no idea what safety is. You think I work for OSHA? No, I don't. There's a specific set of clothes I want to put on right now. Actually, I don't even have it yet. But I need to put those on. Very first and foremost. Yeah, have you guys been playing Animal Crossing? Hope you guys have been uh, keeping up to date. I'm not gonna blame you guys for uh, not really playing all that much either. It seems that the updates have been trickling in. Cause even though, even though like Nintendo added like the June update with the wedding stuff, uh, the, the the museum day, whatever, they haven't really been that substantial of updates. Today has been like the first day where it really was like a big one. Uh, we got a letter from Meringue. Yesterday I wore myself out, so I decided to sleep in and spend the whole morning lying around in bed. But I still woke up at the usual time today, like I just couldn't wait to wear myself out all over again. Yours in frustration, Meringue. I don't know what it is about the 
quote unquote normal type villagers, but I feel like I identify with them the most. They're just a mood. Nintendo? Uh, dear Chris, thank you for downloading the update. Here's a present. This should be the snorkel, right? Cicadas are out. Ooh, I think I've, I've heard, I have played in July. I, I, I've, I've been playing like the last couple of days, not too much. Just uh, booting the game up, doing a couple of flower watering. It's, I, I have some stuff. And look shopping, uh, we'd like to inform you, we have new stuff in stock. Ooh, I hope it's a swimsuit. I don't even know what the buttons are in this game anymore. I pressed select because that's what I pressed to open the mask menu in Majora's Mask. Uh, nook shopping. Let's go. What's new? Solstice crown. I got these already. Bam, bam, ooh. Bamboo grass. This is pretty. Oh, this is like, I don't know what this is. This is something in Japanese culture. Tanabata. Where you like put wishes up on the tree and they come true or something like that? I don't remember. Let's buy it. I know that's like a thing in Japanese culture. When I visited Japan, I went to a lot of shrines and uh, they all kind of let you do uh, little wishes, put them up on posts, trees, what have you, all year round. But I don't really know if that's a seasonal thing. You wonder if Gulliver has a twin who's a pirate. Oh, the pirate Gulliver is really just like his twin brother, not him at all. Not uh, Gulliver after uh, working a long shift at Long John Silver's. Is that a piano? Hold up, hold up. I want this. I want this a lot. It's, oh, this is beautiful. It's like a ivory piano. Seems like you're interested in a grand piano. Let's see, that's two hundred sixty dollars What do I think? I think it's damn expensive. Okay. You, you'll, don't, you'll notice that on I, these days I keep on hand at least like 150,000 bells because I know the item in the shop is going to be super expensive. As it, this is more than I keep on hand. Come on, game. You really expect me to have that much. It's worth it, though. Fozzy Bear, what's up? New updates out. Ex Guardian Protector. Thanks for the follow. We're uh, checking it out. Horizontal striped wetsuit. Ooh. Aha! Uh -huh. Thinking of swimming? Yes, yes. You'll most definitely need the horizontal striped wetsuit. What if I want a vertical one? Well, perhaps before you head to the beach, perhaps we could give you a few pointers about swimming. Swimming. I don't have any pointers on your form, unfortunately. Just the basics about getting into the water. Step one. Get in the water. You put on a wetsuit. Uh, once you suit it up, press A on the beach to hop to the water. Swim around, press, press A. Uh, if you see a shadow, you can press Y to dive and check it out. So basically the same as New Leaf. You never know what kind of sea creatures might be lurking. Like uh, Cthulhu. Or Cthulhu. Or Cthulhu. Or Godzilla. Perhaps you could bring one to the surface. I think that covers everything you need to know. I would, I would love if you could dive. There's like a big shadow in the water. You dive to get it, and you pull out one of the giant, a, a living version of the giant monster statue. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I have caught a few of the bugs that are out right now. Don't even worry about that. We'll, we'll spend a lot of time just moseying around, enjoying the summer atmosphere. It's always, there's always that. Whenever there's summer represented in Japanese games, there's that mood, that feeling. You hear the cicadas coming out and they're like, wink, wink, wink. Sorry. Let me cat, what's up? Let's go swimming. Let's go. Yeah, I haven't really uh, been playing a lot, I, I mentioned. But um, I, I, I kind of have a policy of not really opening my town on stream. But if anybody else has an open town later, I'm down to join. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I actually wanted to... Well, this is actually pretty cool. Maybe I want this. Achinda Poblana! I love it. I love the amount of... Like, cultural clothing in this game. Of all cu countries of the world. I'm learning so much about what countries have the prettiest dresses. I don't even tend to intend to wear it. But maybe I give it to a villager, but then I just put it in my storage and forget. Oh! My storage is full, by the way. I've been trying to clear it out every now and then, but I just have too much stuff. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. As Guardian Protector's Nook's Cranny is getting the final upgrade. You're excited. Ooh, very nice, Protector. Yeah. 
Have you? Did you just get the game like 30 days ago? Because that's pretty much the requirement for getting it. I, I'm surprised it only upgrades once because in other games it takes multiple like tiers to get to the the full level. I'm I'm sure maybe they'll add them in a future update. Okay, there's one design I really want to download. Uh, let me cat. You'll be excited to see this. Uh, because I've been playing a lot of a certain game, you can guess what I'm about to download. I'll give you uh, two tries. Ba -da -da -da. There's the code if you want it. Uh, pause the video to, to get it, I guess. Check it out. Oh, look, it's in Korean. So <laughs> definitely let me get and see what that is. Anybody uh, recognize it? <laughs> I knew you'd see it. I knew you realize. Oh, let me put it on. Also, I gotta find a mirror. I gotta complete the look. I meant to do this earlier, but I keep forgetting to go to the Able shop. I wish there was a way to access the design kiosk. Could they, could they just like put it outside? Please just put it outside so that I can access it when the store is closed, like a bank ATM or something. Da da da. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Where are you? What's up, Bam? Sup, see, bud? You're looking pumped, Kablang. I want to chat. Maybe I'll give him the dress. Ah, uh, I know the look. You want to do patrol jogs with me, don't you? Anytime you want, Kablang. Ah, uh, that dialogue has been in the game since the very beginning. Where's that dress? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. He's gonna look adorable. A China Poblana? Seriously? Alright, I'm gonna look great flexing in this. <laughs> oh, he's rocking it. He's rocking it. I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna give that to the first person I saw. It just happened to be Bam. And you know what? He actually looks pretty good in that. Look at that, it really accentuates his muscles. Here's something for you. A silk floral plant shirt. Take it, don't be shy. Bam is the best. He's pretty good. I, I I, have a bit of a quandary. I've been wanting a new jock. But I just can't bring myself to get rid of Bam ever. So I guess he'll just stay. He'll just stay. Oh, here, get out of the way. This is my secret mirror. That's behind your house. But don't don't. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Let's see, which one of these haircuts is what I need? That one, and that one. There you go. Can we put on the shirt? As Guardian Protector got the game, they won, but you haven't been playing that much. I see. Well, congratulations on getting the bigger shop. That You'll finally have access to all the expensive stuff. I hope you've saved up enough bells or been watching the stock market. Well, well, well. Style? I've always had my own style. What are you talking about? I need to actually put on some pants to match with this. It's cosplay. We've been playing a lot of Persona 4 Golden. So I've been in the mood. Every time I play Animal Crossing alongside any other game. You just know. You just know I'm gonna put in... I'm gonna put in whatever... Whatever main character... As a cosplay in Animal Crossing. We'll use crop pants for now, I guess. The sh I'm, wearing, I'm wearing power boots. Doesn't matter. We'll pretend I'm cosplaying in the dungeon. Yeah. I'm missing the swag. Let me cat. I put on the shades before I did anything else. I'm prepared. I had this all planned out. Yeah. Da da. I, I lost track of what I was gonna, what I was gonna do. Oh yeah. So the villagers I have right now. Or I guess we could go. So there's so much I want to do right now. Quick update before I forget. 
villagers I have right now. Uh, Olivia and Zucker still around. Meringue. Bam. Muffy. Original two right here. But we got a little shuffling around uh, in regards to our Peppy and our Cranky. Tabby moved out. We have Mary now. Octavian moved out. And we have Dobie now. I was going to go villager hunting after Tabby moved out and then move Tabby back in with an amiibo card. But right before I was going to, after just one day of having an open spot, somehow Klaus moved into my town. Big old Caesar, Caesar, Julius Caesar looking bear. And he just, he just asserted himself and started living in there, even though I didn't ask. And somehow the original town he's from stopped existing. He came from Anna's town, but she deleted her town and remade it way before he moved in. So he had to have been sitting in my switch, waiting for a free spot to open up, stalking, watching. I, that, I, that, 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 that makes me completely unsettled. So the very first villager that came to the campsite I forced to move in and it was Mary and it was she's a peppy so uh she's adorable and uh let's go check on her if we can uh nope she's out and about who's actually in Marina happy belated birthday she's wearing her original shirt but that's okay because it's adorable not the shirt I gave her I, I'm sure she's just uh keeping it clean I'm glad to. If I understood a word you said. Da, da, da. I have another human. I do! Um, I was mentioning earlier that my... Um, uh, my storage is full. And in order to, uh... Before it got full, I made another villager and transferred over some stuff. But the amount of stuff I keep getting... Uh, outweighs outweighs uh, it, it, it grew faster than I could offload it to the other villager there was a beetle on that tree I should have gotten it oh well I need to make some time to transfer it over uh, before I get too distracted let's do everything uh, in a certain order I want to buy that grand piano even though my storage is full so I'm gonna withdraw some money I still have a 10 million bells Stock market did very well for me. Let's see. I guess I'm just going to straight up get 200,000. Because it's expensive! No golf club. I think there's a golf set in the game. Unfortunately, I can't wield it. Sadly enough. Da da. Fat Yoshi still prominently displayed. Whoever moves into that house has to carry the burden of having the the fat yoshi art it's a it's a city monument uh it's not allowed to be moved by order of the mayor there is no mayor in this town so by way of like grandfathered laws no one is allowed to touch it there's like an ancient church somewhere in i don't even remember i think uh the ancient church that supposedly is around the place where like jesus rose from the dead has a ladder on the second floor. And because because of ancient laws that don't make sense anymore, no one is allowed to move that ladder because you need permission from like a million different sects of Christianity. So so nobody can agree on like what's allowed in that place or not. It's just a little bit of trivia. It's like that, just grandfathered laws. Where am I going? I'm buying a piano. I don't know why, but YouTube just decided to show me a video about that the other day. Let me cat's gonna touch the painting when you visit. It's good luck! Like the blarney, so you're not allowed to move it, but you are allowed to touch it, uh, lick it, uh, pick it up. Just, uh, just put it back exactly where you found it. It's like the blarney stone. Kiss it, and then you'll be able to understand the language of the Yoshis. <laughs> Mary's here! Love window shopping here and regular shopping too. I never gave her a voice. Uh oh. Find anything good? If I get bored, I so love to come here and browse. Free entertainment. Entertainment like me buying a piano. 
You think I can't afford it? Timmy and Tommy, do you know who I am? I'm Yuna Arakami. Nice. Da, 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 da. So the the bug off was a few days ago. Uh, Flick came by. Everyone like caught bugs. It, it was just like the fishing tournament, so I didn't really stream it. But I did play with Brad and uh, with Anna. It was a fun time. I got a million bug items. I don't really know what to do with them because I have so much stuff out here. I have too many flowers I don't know what to do with. I think I'm just gonna uproot all the flowers in my town because I don't have room for anything anymore. Let's do a little let's do a little mini tour while we're all here and then I'll when I get to the ocean I'll take the opportunity to dive dive Look at the little diving suit. Oh yeah. It's the Persona 4 Beach episode, baby. So my flowers, I've only really, I'm only really caring about these few sets of flowers over here. Blue roses. Water these up. If my water can breaks right now, I will laugh my butt off. I haven't really been paying attention to, oh, what's that? Got a little buggy bug. Hey yup! It's just a tiger beetle. I thought it was something new. I've been noticing a lot of new bugs just walking around. Dung beetles, cicadas. Right. All right. Got this beauty over here. Hey. What you gotta do is you gotta sneak up on it. Ah, uh, right there. Right there, crikey! So, we got some black roses over here. I've been making some uh, gold roses out of them. They keep growing in an unoptimal fashion for my uh, watering patterns. But that makes me a little bit sad. Wait a minute. I don't know how, but I somehow watered this one over here while standing over here. That is perfect. I've actually watered everything. Amazing. Wait. Yes, yes. Oh, that's perfect. Wonderful. Ba -da 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 -da. I like to just place the golden watering can there so it doesn't clog up my inventory. Yeah, summer vibes, they're happening. If you guys notice anything new since the last time I streamed this, please mention it, point it out, because I don't remember what the exact state of my town was the last time I showed it off. Uh, Anna still has 20 blue roses that sprouted from the one I gave her. These things spread like wildfire. You'd think they were like weeds. That's pretty much how I feel about the flowers in Animal Crossing New Horizons. They're so hard to get rid of unless you explicitly dig them up. So they just grow and grow and grow. And they take up space that I intend to put like trees and furniture. It's kind of unfortunate because I actually should spend one of these days de-weeding them. So here's my town. When you come in, you get to the checkpoint. And I'm here to check uh, whether people's uh, immigration papers are legit. And if it all checks out... Welcome to Erestotska. You head through the, w the wedding arch. I forgot to... I, I, I actually forgot to redeem all my... Uh, crystal hearts. Ooh! I'm ready for the ocean, baby. So, the wedding arch is pretty much all I have. Let's go swamming. Woo! The store's been having some nice summer stuff in stock. I like it. There's surfboards, fans. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! But he, he's... He's not a pirate, though. Wait, he's... Oliver's not a pirate. 
Does anybody know how the Pirate Gulliver event works? Does he replace Gulliver? He clearly doesn't, or maybe it's because this is the first day that he's not a pirate. Anyway, oops. Honk, shoo, honk, shoo, snoring sounds, etc. Yep. Wake up. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Already licked all these cookies. I didn't test for raisins. <laughs> no, you lock the plank, Ahab. Think you're so smart. <laughs> I have a little bit of a conundrum. I already gave Gulliver a pirate voice, so I don't... I guess it just works that when he becomes a pirate, he'll still have that voice. Imagination artist, what's up? Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome to Animal Crossing. I'm not opening my town today, but uh, yeah, we're just going over the new update stuff. <laughs> Wake up. Mm, don't want to be flotsam. Heavy and jet some just sounds more rugged. Finally. Oh boy, here we go. Up we go on your feet, sailor. This isn't our first mystery beach, and it won't be our last. Oh, sold a lot of seawater. Come on, get it together. Talk to the local. Here we go. Hello, stranger. Is this your beach? Your stubborn commitment to shoveling shoving me awake sail tells me yes. Wait, I know you. You're Rusty? No, you're Chris. Hey, how you been? As for me, I'm still trapped in a will-they-won't-they -they relationship with that flirty siren we call the sea. You should talk to a genie about that, named uh, Shantae. She knows all about the sirens. And due to an unfortunate accident that wasn't my fault, probably, I'm shipwrecked, yes again. Does it count as shipwrecked if I don't know where the ship is? I should probably know this. I think it's just marooned. Castaway? I'll figure that out later. Alright, let's... Do, 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 you know, you guys know the drill. Swimming! And I finally got green mums. Congratulations! Do you have to read those? Is it is it complicated? I have not bred a single flower. Like, on purpose, at least. The black roses, I just got totally at random. So, I'm glad that I was able to just water them enough to get the golden roses. The blue ones, somebody gave me one. And they just... They just took over. Ba -da 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 -da. Imagination artist got a hello. Wait a minute. It's an Animal Crossing update miracle. I apologize. Uh, when I play Animal Crossing, I'm going to be super into it. So I may not get to people as soon as usual. Communicator part. That's going to go straight into storage. I see a bird butterfly. Common Rider. Thanks for the raid. Common Rider. Come in! Can we get a shout out for Common Rider? Anna, thank you for giving that shout out. Yeah, guys, go follow Common Rider. Recent affiliate, uh, plays a lot of anime games. Uh, very nice guy. Very, uh, very, uh, kind and generous and likes to support his friends. Yeah, you were playing Super Robot Wars! Ooh, that's on PS4, right? I saw you playing it earlier. It has all my favorite animes Cowboy Bebop, uh, Gundam G. G. Uh, Gundam G, yeah. Um, just a whole bunch of giant robot stuff all at once. I that game is still a miracle to me. Emperor Butterfly. It's not your average monarch! Is this new? This is not new, right? Common Blue Bottle. No, we have that. Get raided! Rex, what's up? Common Rider, hello. How was your stream? Welcome to the Animal Crossing. We're checking out the new swimming update. I've been in the water for a grand total of like two seconds. Let's actually go check out, like, let's go catch at least one thing. I'm not, like, super duper duper de duper. Uh, I'm, I, I can wait to get new stuff. Because this is pretty much how it was in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Like, diving, you get the bubbles. Dive, dive. Oops. And you pick up what's on the floor. Look, a sea star. Whoa, this is... I got a sea star. Maybe it'll give me an autograph. Straight from Hollywood. Straight from Sea Hollywood. Koi Nusubomi. What's up, Koi Koi? Common Raider. Yeah, welcome on in, everybody. Hope you're having a good night. Anybody playing Animal Crossing 2? Not opening my town today, but maybe, maybe a future day. 
Da 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 da. Thank Twig's been working on a nine step process to make special red roses that make blue roses 25% of the time if bred together. You have four of them now. Ooh. You thinking of maybe like making a business out of selling them? I guess you'd probably make more money just selling the blue roses by themselves. Ooh, barnacles. Barnacles! Whoa, this is. I got an acorn barnacle. Will it grow into an oak barnacle? I'm sure Nintendo's localization team racked their heads over new puns to add. A plus material, guys. I mean C plus material. C star, better than a C plus. This is a whelk. Happy snails to you. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Common Rider has been playing on PS4. Gonna grab dinner. All right, Common. Yeah, I noticed that you, you, don't, you usually don't... You usually end before now. Hope you had a fun stream. Yeah, go get some good food. Is that a sea... That's a sea urchin. This is a sea urchin. Wasn't even an urchin for it. What is my life? What is my life? See, while, I, while I'm diving around in the ocean, I can tell some stories about that my dad has told me since he grew up in the barrios of the Philippines. They would often, like, go swimming in the ocean where, like, the sea life was all wild and tropical. He'd tell me that sea urchins would follow him around on the beach as if they wanted to be stepped on. Like, that's their purpose in life. Just to bug you. You look away, and then you look back for one second. The dang spiny beast is two inches away from your foot. Is that a jelly? Is this okay to be touching with my bare hands? I got a moon jellyfish. Now to find a sun peanut butter fish. Didn't miss the puns at all. Didn't miss the puns at all. Happy snails, happy trails. That's the fun, really? Yo. Oh. You have some purple roses. Purple roses. What is that? Is that seaweed? I got some sea grapes. Can't let these go sour. When I go to the beach in either my hometown or just in LA, I always see those around. I wonder if they're edible. Never tried. Uh, you were gonna give some purple roses away. They're the most annoying step because they need to be tested to see if they're the correct purple. Ah. The fact that flowers in this game have actual genealogy is amazing and annoying. I guess it's another one of those things that, you know, help you kill time in Animal Crossing. One of the few things that you have to wait until a future day to, um, actually verify to actually get the reap the rewards of deep dive glittering sea that surrounds our island is home to all kinds of captivating creatures put on your wetsuit dive in and see what you can collect to earn miles see what i did there hmm? i see it tom i see it i don't like it i don't appreciate it i'm gonna have to ask you to stop uh, the terrible puns are my job? Underwater understudy. There are still many creatures that we have yet to discover at the bottom of the sea. Hmm? Earn miles by diving deep, capturing creatures, and filling out your critterpedia. Yes, yes. Ooh, cerulean diver. Diver. I could be... I could be, uh, holy diver by Dio. I could be... Cerulean egg... What's, what's new in my passport? I haven't really... Did I, did I, did I show you guys that my, my picture is just Gundam? The ultimate life form. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough to be my fake. Ultimate fake. No, no, no. Egg, 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 egg. We'll be an egg today. Like we should be. Egg. Erg. Crisp egg. I like it. Dad joking egg. That's me, but I don't want to be that obvious about it. 
Cerulean. Burn. Perfect. I've been down too long in the midnight sea. Who's playing the drums? Meringue. Oh, she jamming. Hold on. Freestyle. You were so fire. She got the rules. She got rhythm. Cause she ain't got rhythm. Bat looking cute. Yeah. Uh, let's fill out our inventory before we go talk to Bla uh, Blathers and donate a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can find any more buggies. I want to. I want to catch at least one cicada. It's like the thing to catch. Thankfully, I've got a lot of trees now. Internet egg. I think something just flew away. Wasn't paying attention. She's jamming. What's that? Something on the flower over there. Think it's just a ladybug? Oh, what is that? Stink bug? Stink bug. Don't need to care about it. Flathers be like... It's a stink bug. You want to know more about it? Yeah. It stinks, and I hate it. Now get out. You really don't like them buggies, huh? Ba da da da. Blathers has some good descriptions for the. Oh. Good descriptions for the new sea creatures. Ah. That's pretty good. At least uh, their facts department is doing better than their pun department. Dad joke time? Why don't fish play basketball? They have issues with the net. I like it. I like your spunk, kid. <laughs> we have no Detroit for a while. Can I please see me? Just to arrive on whatever speech we're on. Hold on, Robert. Here are the swans of it. Marina, are you, are you coming on to me? Are you guys free to have to wreck this stuff? Let's put it on the country map, sir. Just come on yourself, Robert. Oh. Well, forgive me for interpreting that some different way. I'd learned the daydreaming reaction. So much to dream about. Uh, don't, wait, what? what? Was she just thinking of moving just now? But only for a moment? I'm confused. She better not. She better not. Marina is one of the villagers I will never let move out. She has one of the starting-ish homes. But she hasn't, um, I actually like the starting home better than her actual home. I've seen people with their actual home, and it's, it's, it's okay. It's very pink. It's offensively pink. And I feel like Marina has more of a personality than just pink. Stag beetle! Yes! I got the saw stag. Now I can't unsee it. Unfortunate. I should get some eye bleach. Dun, da da. So they don't move out without asking you first anymore. Okay, that's good. It used to be like if you time travel, there's a there's a real risk that one of your favorite villagers might just be gone. So it really is only when you see them with a the thought bubble. They have to ask you first. That's nice. I like that. So this is something that's changed since the last stream, probably, and I never even mentioned it. Uh, I, I redid the village. I moved it all around. It's got this nice double bridge over here. Um, I started replacing the path and then I gave up. But basically everyone lives over here now. The, the area back there is replaced with cliff. There's only one villager that lives on top of the cliff and it's Zucker. I thought he deserved, I thought he deserved something nice. He's studying flowers right now. Hi there, walking buddy. You look great today. I'm feeling pretty fashionable too. Hardly a fruit stain on me today. Zucker. I don't know if you checked your entire head, but I think you got takoyaki sauce all over yourself. Unless that's your hair. In which case, what is that chopstick sticking out of your noggin? 
I don't understand Zucker. Is he food? Is he not food? So I always design my town so that you don't have to have any tools to traverse it. So there's a bunch of hidden paths here and there. You can hop across all of these. Uh, if you wanted to get to the beach, you could hop across that. And you can get down to the beach using uh, the stairs over here by Zucker's house. And it leads back to the museum. Very nice. Zucker, you are a food stain. Ooh, that's a drone beetle. I already got one, so I don't really need it. Look at all this stuff from June that I didn't that I didn't donate because I intended to do it on stream and then never did. Let's go clear some inventory. Maybe Marina's house is pink so she can camouflage herself because she's an octopus. Thank Twig, I never considered that. You're right. Maybe she's not very good at uh, octopus color changing. So in order to be less embarrassed about it, she fills her house with pink. Oh, I feel bad now. Big bugs. Da 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 da. Anna's reading a book about anti gravity. It's impossible to put down. That's not. That's not even the appropriate use of that meme. It's supposed to be like Narukami uh, doesn't realize he's being hit on or something. So. He's styling on people without realizing he is the one being styled on. Too bad. I'll use it as a rim shot instead. <laughs> Thank you. Keep them coming. I love them. Oh, hello, Chris. Welcome to the Holland Days Museum. Oh, that reminds me. I've received news I must simply discuss with you, Chris. Sea creatures and other marine wonders can be found off the shores of our very own Holland Days. Or so I've heard tell. Anywho, tis exciting stuff, is it not? Now I do not know the precise whereabouts of said oceanic discoveries, but if any happen to find their way into your possession, I would be most eager to see them. Well, uh, today's your lucky day, Blathers. I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh wait, is this gonna create a new wing? This isn't, this isn't like the art, is it? I, have to, I don't have to wait until tomorrow to donate sea life. I'll give you a sea urchin, because I have two. Ooh, this is a sea urchin! Sea creatures are extraordinary things, are they not? I wonder, would you entrust this marvelous marine find to me? All yours! Ooh, how wonderful! I shall gladly take you up on your offer! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts? Yes, please. Is the fact that they like to be stepped on. Is that their thing? Do they have a, a weird, a, a weird, uh, you know what? Is that why? Is that why they follow you around? Ah, the sea urchin, the unabashed goth of the ocean floor, the goth of the ocean floor. Yes, looking for a uh, goth sea urchin GF. Indeed, with its mane of dark-hued spikes, it looks for all the world as if it might front a punk rock band. Perhaps its more demure relatives, the sea cucumber and the sea star, disapprove of its outlandish look. Could certainly explain why sea stars gobble up sea urchins every chance they get. Oof. But worry not for a spiky friend, its venomous spines are an effective deterrent to many a predator. And there are its sticky tube feet, which it uses to maneuver out of harm's way. Tube feet, I say! What will the Salty Rebel think of next? Salty Rebel. I want that to be my title for the passport. Wow, he, he, has, a, he has an encyclopedia and a half on the sea urchin. I'm glad, I'm glad that they showed their work and actually gave long descriptions for the sea creature stuff. Uh, moreover, it must be said that we are most fortunate to have an island such as this. One with a veritable bounty of sea ocean wonders to discover, and of course, to display. Indeed, as of now, we have begun accepting sea creatures. It's a broad category that includes discoveries that are not creatures, but do see what the sea has to offer. Your enthusiastic and philanthropic participation is all I ask. See what you can see. Was it like the third time they made that pun? You ordered an, a chicken and an egg from Amazon. He'll let you know which one comes first. Didn't we have a Splatfest to determine that? <laughs> Might there be something which I can assist you? Uh, donate all the stuff. 
Dun, 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 dun. You weren't lying when you said they were good. I'm gonna alternate between uh, stuff he likes and stuff he hates. I'm sorry, Blathers. What's funny is like, he'll hate things like the hermit crab because they count as bugs, but they're just crustaceans. He'll probably like the sea snail, even though it's not a bug, but it is a bug. Hey, an earth boring dump beetle. What a wretched thing. Give me the deets. It's boring. I hate you. Goodbye. Earth boring dung beetles are considered quite handsome by some thanks to their metallic luster. In fact, some even think them to be good omens and bringers of favorable fortune. But I must protest. These field ravaging pests love to burrow under piles of dung and lay their eggs! Bladders, you're an owl. You also have eggs. They raise their young under dung! Need I say more? <sighs> I think not. I remember previous Animal Crossing games. You can actually see dung beetles just egg walking around pushing little poop balls. It's adorable, but I wouldn't want to touch any one of them. Thank Twig's been playing Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and it's actually a pretty fun time. Oh yeah, for those of you who like uh, strategy games, Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is actually well made for one, and has like excellent production values. The rabbit stuff is very muted compared to any other rabbits game. They're kind of just there. And it treats it way more like a Mario game that happens to have strategy elements. Uh, I'm no good at strategy games, so I haven't really played it. But I played a little bit of it. It is in-depth. I mean, it's from the makers of XCOM, right? I think? Does Ubisoft make both? I don't want to lie. Let me double check that. XCOM is made by... By... Oh, that's not Ubisoft, is it? I lied. Never mind. Well, whatever it is, whatever Ubisoft's uh, ability to make strategy games is, uh, they've proven it. Let's donate. You can have grapes. The dung beetle's luster. Mmm, black luster soldier. Hooty hoo. These must be some sea grapes. Did you know if you ferment them, you can make a lovely sea wine? I'm sorry, there's no alcohol in a kid's game. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. It's just XCOM-like. I see, Tube Soup. Also, what's up, Tube Soup? Welcome to Andable Crossing. We're donating everything to Blathers. Uh, we'll see what he likes and what he hates. Once we've donated a decent amount of stuff, I want to go tour the museum again. Because I never really did that since the beginning of the game. And there is a lot, there is a lot to see now. Sea grapes are a marine algae that look much like their landlocked namesake. That is, they are green, pearl-like orbs that cluster tightly along underwater vines. And sea grapes, like regular grapes, are a popular snack food, too. And beat of the saltier variety, do people, act, do people actually eat sea grapes? What does it taste like? Fans of the briny delicacy enjoy the way their shiny pearls pop when chewed. Dude, it's natural popping boba. It makes one wonder whether sea grape juice might have some appeal. I always assumed they were just filled with, with ocean water. Could leave the drinker with sour grapes, I suppose. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no. You've eaten regular seaweed before. I mean, I've eaten dried seaweed that people use for wrapping sushi. Uh, they actually make it in a snack form. Just dried sheets of seaweed that they layer up and they flavor with some sort of either like spices or just straight salt. It's all pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty healthy, too. Seaweed is gross. I mean, when it's dried out, it doesn't look like seaweed. I don't know if I would, like, pick up seaweed off the beach and eat it. It probably... I have no basis for thinking this, but it's probably, like, leathery and ugh. Ooh, 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 this is undoubtedly a sea star. Pick it up. And then you can go... It's a salty, wet leaf. You're a salty, wet leaf. The sea star may appear to have five feet, but those are in fact its arms. And though five arms sea stars are the most common, there are some species with 20 or even 40 arms out there. They're like the, the ones that look like suns. Those are creepy. I've seen them in, um, I've seen them in aquariums. I live in SoCal, but, uh, in high school, we would take a yearly field trip up to the Monterey Bay Aquarium in NorCal. And, uh, I would see so many, so many fascinating and horrifying creatures there. 
but I was always excited. Mostly because the the head teacher of the field trip club, we called it the science club, but all he ever did was do field trips. He, I don't know if the way he arranged all the field trips was quite like up to code. Because we'd always like sleep in some school's gym or his like his sister-in-law's house that had a barn where all the boys would sleep and the girls got to sleep inside the house like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ah but the fascinating appendage facts do not end there what what you see upon each sea star's arm sprout many dozens of tiny feet yes feet lathers is there something you want to tell me about feet no they use these suction cupped feet not just to move about but to uh grab hold of dinner guests as well finally it should be noted that when a sea star loses an arm it can grow it back more impressive yet a severed sea star arm can sometimes grow an entire sea star body back and there you have it fascinating stuff no there used to be a huge problem with overpopulation of starfish sea stars because the fishermen like didn't see them as valuable so they would uh fish them up and in order to kill them off, they would cut them in half and throw them back. But because they didn't know that sea stars can regenerate from even just like one arm, they ended up doubling the sea star population. That, yeah, no, that seriously messed with the ecosystem of many oceans. It's, it is amazing that humanity has lived off the ocean for so long and not like completely ruined it. It has almost happened. Uh... F for the coral reefs. Common Rinder's back. Did you get some good food? Are you still getting food? You forgot to say Kira, Miki, Anna's here today. Yeah. Animal Crossing. You know, you know it's a relaxing time. Here's a bug. Eee, a soul stag. What a wretched thing. I practiced my being scared. Is it working? Ah, oh, I see. In that case. I like how I like how I'm visiting the museum in my diving suit and snorkel. Like these are the freshest catches possible. I'm not even like pulling them out of a bag or anything. They're just in my wetsuit. Just here you go, Blathers. The saw stag got its name from the shape of its pincers. That is, its pincers look like jagged saws. And I tell you, the bigger the beetle, the more saw-like teeth its giant jaws have. I say, the star stag seems more at home in a horror film than in nature. I would terrify myself just thinking about it. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bait of the... Why, Sneet, what's up? You're doing pretty good, I hope. Hope you're well. Welcome to uh, Blather's Donation Hour. We're gonna be here a while, folks. I actually... I know a lot of people just let his speech go. But I, I, I like... I like doing his voice. One of the few chances I get to do a British accent and also put so much emotion into it. Ooh! Why? This is an acorn barnacle! Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts? Yeah. And don't say that one fact about barnacles that everybody knows already. This is a PG-13 stream. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Do not mistake the acorn barnacle for a relative of the clam. Tut, tut. Mollusks they are not. Barnacles are cousins to crabs and lobsters, you see. Though the family resembles is, resemblance is hard to spot. The crustaceans? Acorn barnacles may also seem to live a stationary life. What would being attached to rocks and such? Sometimes the bottom of a boat. But truth be told, baby barnacles are avid travelers, drifting shellless about the sea before settling down. Once they find a good rock to affix themselves to, they float free no more. Which begs the question, do adult acorn barnacles ever look out across the open sea and long for youthful adventure once more? Do they, do, do they have eyes? Can they even see? And there you have it, fascinating stuff, no. 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 I feel so bad for barnacles that decide to root themselves somewhere that actually doesn't ever get food. They'll, they'll have made the biggest mistake of their lives. And we had burger on a Hawaiian roll bun today. Oh, those are always delicious. I have a soft spot for Hawaiian rolls. My parents used to buy them all the time when I was a kid. And uh, you can make so many different kinds of sandwiches for... Just like savory sandwiches or even sweet sandwiches. I used to put scoops of ice cream in them and make ice cream sandwiches. 
but they did work together so well especially cheese ice cream yes i will always shill cheese ice cream when i get a chance it's a thing it's from the philippines it's called queso real and wouldn't it just make sense put the cheese it's cheddar flavored but it's sweeter than normal cheddar cheese you put that in a hawaiian roll it's like sweet savory it's the perfect compliment this must be a moon jellyfish. Now might I few... <laughs> Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Don't trust atoms. They make up everything. <laughs> I feel a special bond with that one. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Ah, the moon jellyfish. What's not to love about this pretty floating flower of the sea? The, the, the point, the stingers? Well, I suppose its tentacles do give a sting when touched, but it's only a mild thing to the likes of us. Other creatures may not be so fond of its translucent beauty. Though, who can blame them, really? Moon jellyfish have stinging cells called sights. That kill fish and other small critters that float by. And they use their oral arms to pull those morsels into their mouths and stomachs. Incidentally, their mouths are also their anuses. Yes, very scientific. Indeed, one need but observe the moon jellyfish to see how brutal and beautiful nature can be. And there you have it. Needocytes. Got it. I uh, need a citation on that. Think just one more? Snaily boy. Ooh -hoo, a whilk. See, I'm just so bothered by the fact that he doesn't freak out at the sight of a sea snail, but he does freak out at the sight of a regular snail. Whilks are sea snails that migrate from deep water to shallow water when the weather changes. Avid carnivores, they feed on worms, crustaceans, and mollusks. Oh, worm? In fact, these wily snails have been known to use their own shells to pry open the shells of their victims. They then use a rough, tongue-like organ with thousands of tiny teeth to lick their victim shells clean. Huh. Eh, you might want to put that image out of your mind when it's your turn to dine. And there you have it. I don't know, Blathers. I feel like that might excite some people. We're good for now. I still have entirely too much stuff in my inventory. I'm gonna do... I'm, I'm gonna sort some stuff. I need to sell a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, bum, bum, bum. I gotta donate a couple of these, too. I've been waiting. I've been waiting specifically for stream. Like, the scorpion. And a freaking whale shark. And, uh, what do I over here? I think I have a Dorado? Oh, and an Arapaima. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Speaking of sea life. Uh, another fun thing my dad used to do in the Philippines when he was a kid. Uh, he and his friends used to go swimming in the sea and grab uh, sea cucumbers off the sea floor. And then, you know how they uh, squirt out their insides when they get scared? Nature's water gun, baby! Gross. Hey, but hey. When you're too poor to afford an actual water gun, you make fun of whatever you can have. Poor sea cucumbers, though. Poor sea cucumbers. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Scorpio. Sleepy memories. What's up, Sleepy? Have you been having a good day? Yeah, I'm off work. I don't have work tomorrow, so we're just enjoying uh, Animal Crossing. I'm donating a million things. Yeah, all the stuff I've been finding on the ocean floor, and also some new fish and bugs I caught. Yeah, hope you're doing well, Sleepy. Eee! A scorpion! What a wretched thing! Scorpions it, behave exactly like tarantulas, but somehow I've only ever caught one. I guess I never really made a tarantula uh, a scorpion island. In that case, the scorpion, how should I put this? Those legs, those pincers, that tail, and that venomous stinger! I know, isn't it gorgeous? It's as if someone took all the most ins awful insect parts and put them together to make the scorpion! All scorpions are venomous, you know. Although I understand that only a few kinds are truly deadly. 
I fear I might die just thinking about it. Don't die, Blathers. We need you. What has two butts and kills people? An assassin! Is there... Is there... Is, is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> Why am I so dumb? Why am I so dumb? This is the peak of humor for me, and I don't even know why. I'm sorry, Arowana, not Arapaima. Camp Arowana, we hold you in our hearts. And when we think about you, it makes us wanna... Fart! Oh boy, why well, this is an Arowana. Now, might I interest you in a few uh, fascinating facts about your Arowana? Yes, please tell me. Uh, wonderful. I would love nothing more. How's the water? The water's fine. Come on in. You can see I'm wearing my diving suit. It's very nice. I look like a I look like a jail inmate. I just kind of realized. Uh, funny. I'm dressed as the Persona 4 protagonist right now. I'm just as much a prisoner as the one from Five. It would seem your angling expertise knows no bounds. This beauteous arrow water fetches a pretty bell, though I'd venture to say that its true price is beyond measure. The arrow water is an excellent jumper. Some have been seen leaping six feet out of the water, eh, what? Why? Why what? Why what? Look. Look. It... When am I... When is it a bad idea? To have a fart sound effect on your OBS at the ready at all times. That's been up there for years. For years! I only bring it out when people least expect it. Alas, it has also been on the endangered species list for some time. We're gonna, we're gonna preserve it? Or we're gonna breed it in captivity? It is up to us to do all we can to help preserve such magnificent creatures for the years to come. And there you have it. Look, man, don't joke lightly about butts. It can be a heavy topic. Hoo-dee-hoo, this must be a saw shark. Manoka Farda, okay. <laughs> Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Wonderful. As you might expect from the name, the saw shark is a shark with a head that resembles a saw. Oh sure, you're fine with the saw shark, but the saw beetle can't can't handle it. This unusual appendage is used both to dig potential prey out of the sand and as a weapon against said prey. Given that, it seems like a more appropriate name should be the shovel sword shark. Hey, what? Shovel sword, shovel knight for chivalry. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? So, side note, um. I saw a Twitter meme going around, uh, Nash actually was the first one I saw do it, where there's a 30 day music challenge. Let's see if I can get, let's see if I can get the image. Soul! I wonder if Blathers is gonna make the Saw Shark and the Saw Beetle, uh, duke it out. And whoever wins is going to be the, uh, Saw Champion of the world. Okay, here we go. I like to play a game. The 30 day game, video game music challenge. Um, I've done the first two days already. Let me see if I can fit this to the screen. Day one and two. There's a kind of a little theme going on here. It starts out with like title screen, first stage, and then you'll see at the end, it's like final boss credits. I like that, but uh, it's only been two days so far. And here are the two songs I have picked already. First song, title screen music. There's gonna be a lot of Way Forward and Jake Kaufman songs on this list. But how could I not? This one is from Mighty Switch Force 2, a game about a, uh, uh, a firewoman? Who saves people from burning buildings and, uh, kicks ugly babies. Seriously, that happens. Listen, wait, wait for it, wait for it though. Just ain't the same. 
This, this is title screen music. Doesn't it just hype you up? So hype. It's like the village people crossed with like disco. Oh, I love. I just love anything that Jake Kaufman puts out. All the way forward games. Dancing, dancing. I need to play this game on stream someday. This is this is actually a little bit cheating because this is the credits version of the song. But I, I'm not. I, I wouldn't have picked this for the credits day. There, I have a song in mind for that. But this is immediately like. I used to listen to this song all the time. Every song on this soundtrack, basically, Mighty Switch Force. That the game is. There's Mighty Switch Force 1 and 2. Um, they're both pretty similar games, but 2 has more of a puzzle aspect to it. And uh, for day 2, a little bit more predictable. When I think intro stage to a game, I think Mega Man X. Pretty simple, pretty obvious. But like, I feel like I shouldn't discount games just because they are, ju just because they're the obvious choice. Like, it just makes for an easy pick, I think. Sleepy saw the tweets, yeah. You guys should pick some music too. If you don't, you know, post that kind of stuff on Twitter, feel free to like, post links on my Discord in the music section. Because I'd love to see more video, video game music. There's also one on there that is game from a game, uh, music from a game you haven't played. So the more people that do this, the more opportunities I'll have to like music from games I haven't played. Because it's hard for me to think of specific tracks for a game I haven't actually played. Make a donation. You're surprised it's not the Persona 5 title screen? Well, if we're not really counting the in- if it's the title screen music and not the intro music, I mean, the title screen music is just kind of a little beat that goes like, like, dun 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 It's eh. I don't- they probably should have gone with, like, intro music. But it specifically said title screen, so I didn't- I was considering, actually, Persona 4's title screen music. Because it's this grand, nostalgic- uh, piano riff that makes you feel like you're visiting a town that you haven't been to in ages. But I, I went with something more hype. Dearly beloved, that's a good one. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Big Shark Boy. I would have absolutely lost it if I pulled out the entire whale shark, and it abs it, it, it clips the blathers. Like, whoo! I see. Why, this is a whale shark! How does it fit in that tiny little bag? Let it out, it's gonna suffocate! The mighty whale shark is the largest species of fish in the world, with specimens up to 60 feet long. Unlike many of their kin in the shark family, whale sharks are non-violent, eating only plankton and such. Oh no! Not if I kick it into maximum overdrive! Anybody been playing Spongebob Rehydrated? I saw that came out. I haven't really had a desire to buy it. I'd like to play it someday because I love platforming games. Just, I don't know. I don't feel the need to pay $30 for a platformer right now. They grow slowly and live long, relaxed lives of filter feeding and leisure in warm waters. So if you ever have the chance to choose a fish as a roommate, you could do worse than the whale shark. Unless you can't swim. I don't know, they'd probably want to choose all the decor. Like, you don't have to have water everywhere, man. Spice it up. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. Do 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 do. Thank Twig Likes. Alboy. I keep hearing good things about Alboy. I can stream it. I have a copy. Again, I just need to be reminded. Do I have anything else? Yes, one, one more thing. Golden Trout. Sleepy might have to do the challenge as well. Seems fun. 
<laughs> oh yeah, video game music is the one thing that I don't see enough people talk about, and yet it is such a factor in my own life. One of the few types of music I can talk about. When I was a kid and we'd have to do projects for school like, oh, think of your favorite song and draw a picture about it. I was the only kid in class who would pick like a video game song. I'd pick like Saria's song from Zelda Ocarina of Time and I'd draw like Saria playing her Ocarina and nobody would understand what I'm what what I was drawing. And meanwhile, everyone else is like, oh yeah, Backstreet Boys and Sync. Bye bye bye. I mean, fantastic songs at their time as well, but not what comes to mind when I think of music. I'm so uncultured. I only play video games. Woohoo! This is undoubtedly a golden trout. You really only listen to video game music. Sleepy, we are two of a kin. Might I interest you in a few facts? Yes. If I get it, don't get it on Switch. Ooh, Tube Soup. Is the, is the performance bad on Switch for SpongeBob? Is there uh, more bugs? I was hoping, I was hoping that it would be like the definitive version because if I buy games these days, I usually just pick between the PC or Switch version. PC because my PC is awesome or Switch because it's portable. I'm actually thinking of going to a uh, computer part shop this weekend. Uh, my friend wanted to go and it's pretty far. So we make it like an event every time one of us wants to go. The last time I went, I bought an entirely new computer. I replaced every part except for my graphics card. I'll be tempted to do it again, but I know there's going to be new parts coming out soon, so I need to stop myself. Anyway, Golden Trout. The Golden Trout is a beautifully colored fish that can only live in very clean waters. They are difficult to come across since they are found only in high mountain streams. So they're not going to be found in my stream? Gosh. No wonder I cut it off stream. As a side note, I find it much easier to appreciate fish that aren't such prima donnas about everything. Fun thing, you can only catch that on a cliff river. So that's one of the reasons I terraformed my town to have more cliff. Because it was hard to just naturally come across fish like that. Alright, that's everything we got. Let's do a little retour of the museum. It has been forever since I've taken a good look at everything. So this is going to be... Beautiful. Fantastic. I'm going to go relatively fast because I don't think much has changed. But cool. Get PC. Ooh. I heard there was a glitch that lets you beat the game in like three minutes. Because you can select the last stage with a glitch. If you have two controllers, you can press A on both of them at the same time. And it just lets you choose the last stage. And that's amazing. I, I must say... Catching one firefly? That thing must have been pregnant and laid a million eggs. Because they are everywhere now? But I like it. This place is like an enchanted forest. Look at how much stuff is in here now. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. All the butterflies. Is that is there a little tiger beetle hiding under the bench there? I see you. I see you. Bow. Emperor butterflies. Even the violin beetle hanging out on the stump. The stump. Stoop kids afraid to leave a stoop. It does seem these days that switch ports get the short end of the stick. When it comes to third parties. The Switch is just barely, barely powerful enough to run like the new modern engines. But in order for the game to run well, they really have to optimize it. Not much new here. Tarantula, Scorpion. Ah, uh, I see. These are the cages of death. Grasshopper? Mole Cricket? I like that the- oh, I like that the ants have their little magnifying glass. We can actually see them. Hey, wait a minute! Blathers! Blathers! I think I think some of them are escaping. Where are they going? Are they- are they plotting something with the flies? There's something sinister going on here. 
there's something sinister going on here. He's hatching the plan and they're executing it. Wait. Oh. Oh, that's actually really cute. They're going to the sugar cubes over here. Somebody left their coffee. Blathers. It's what Blathers uses to stay awake during the daytime. Ah, I'm sure he'll find out about later. About it later. We don't need to tell him. Uh, there's so so many cute little details in the museum that you never really notice unless you take a deep, a deep close look. Centipede. Dun 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 dun. It's wild to me that Xbox and PS4 are releasing their next gen systems already, but it feels like Switch is still in the middle of its console cycle. It came out three years ago now. But I, I can see the Switch lasting for a good long while. Yeah, it is going to be interesting when the next gen is released because you, it, it's again, once again, going to be impossible to port games to uh, Nintendo console that are on the current gen P PlayStation and Xbox consoles. The Switch is such an a unique market share. That no doubt publishers, developers are going to try to put stuff on there. And they're going to run horribly. And I fear that day. I'm sure they'll try. I'm sure they'll at least try. Ooh. I was wondering why these areas down here were always empty. Because they were waiting to fill it with the diving stuff. The jellyfish, the barnacles. Oh, that's great. Is that a, what is that? I never caught a sea cucumber. It's a sea pickle. Funniest thing I've ever seen. Melocuninia. Wait, these are fossils. Uncle Stostius. I'm not sure anymore. I'm actually not sure anymore. I think those just started to appear. Dun, 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 dun. Sleepy also listens to some anime opening songs. Ooh. I was watching Obes Kanasar play Mystical Ninja starting Goemon. Also, I... Do I... I don't have every fossil. I have most of them. Which ones am I missing still? I'm still missing a head. For the Ankylosaurus. Really? I'm still missing a... No way. No way. After all this time, I'm still missing the front half of the T-Rex. <laughs> He's still just a butt. I can't believe it. Safi Roth! Made that joke last time. I think I'm just missing two. They come out with the opposite of the Switch Lite. Switch Heavy! Docked only! I love it. I love the idea. Maybe you fuse it with the switch light to create the ultimate switch. Something's missing down here too. I think I've got three fossils left. I've totally given up on digging up fossils. Because he... Blathers always, always tells me there's stuff that he already has. It's demotivating, you know? The most important part of the T-Rex. The butt is kingly, kingly behind. Yes. Wait, I'm also missing something here. I'm missing the Brachiosaur butt. What a shame. You flat. No talent. Dun, 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 dun. It's hard to tell what's, be, uh, what's in Nintendo's sleeves. For the near future. Because if they stick to a five year release cycle. I don't think they'd make a whole new console. I don't think. I think a Switch Pro is more likely. Than a whole new like. Console that's not the Switch. Because why would they put so much effort. Into the. Genius idea that is portable. And also home console. Just to abandon it. They're in an odd place right now. I think all they gotta do is wait for technology for ARM processors to advance as much as possible. 
and then make a new Switch 2 that maybe still plays Switch games. If it's still armed, then it could probably still run it. But just be more. Be switchier. Do boop 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 fish. I really want to go find those little sea, noodle, sea noodles. Little, little snakes, little eels that come out of the ground. I've seen them in an aquarium in uh, Florida. In Florida. Actually, I saw them at Disney World. So yes, in Florida. They're pretty cute. Big lad. I love his expression. I'm a shark. I'm a shark. What a simple life he leads. Oh, to be a whale shark. Look at the definition of the lighting on this absolute monster's skin. I feel like this is the most realistic lighting I've seen in a Nintendo game, period. If he had just shown me this and asked me to guess what game it was, and it was, say, like, the year 2015. I would have never said Animal Crossing. I would have said, like, I don't know, Subnautica. Still got my seal canth or fish. I hope I catch more fish, but unfortunately, they're out of season. I've got two waiting inside my storage. It's a shame. I need one more before I can go make a model with Flick. Uh, technically Flick, but CJ. Doom, doom. Sleepy memories. Is that a derpy dragonite? Hi. Sharkle from Night in the Woods. Wait. Ooh. Oh. I never thought they'd add something here. They've even got moon jellyfish down here. They are very low poly. This is a little horrifying, actually. I'm sure this glass is like two feet thick. Yeah. But the very idea that maybe it would crack and you'd just be dumped into a tank full of jellies. Ooh, I would not like to experience that. Do, 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 do. That one uh, Pokemon Wings, what is it? That mini series of shorts they've been releasing that focus on Pokemon and their trainers. They released one recently about Lance and his Dragonite. I think... At least I think that's what it's from. i just been seeing GIFs of Dragonite kicking down a door. And people synced it up to the... Uh, to All Star by Smash Mouth. Because it reminds them of the intro to Shrek where he kicks open the outhouse door. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of a nail on the forehead. Beautiful. I love the museum. I just need to get those last few fossils and I can at least stop caring about that part of the wing. That wing of the museum. Oh, I have the sailor outfit, by the way. Just call me Usagi. She is the one called Sailor Moon. What Pokemon thing? It's like Pokemon Wings of... Twilight Wings of what? Po Pokemon Wing... Wings of Twilight? Is that it? Twilight Wings. I... I think that's what this is. It was animated really well, and it's usually reserved for Pokemon Twilight Wings. Pokemon Dragonite Door. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's hope I don't- let's hope I don't get content claimed. Come on, come on. Hello? You wanna- You wanna- Oh, you know what? I think Nintendo disabled- They probably disabled Pop Out for this. I see. I see. Well, we'll just have to watch it like this. Pop 
Perfect. Perfect. That's po it's that's not Pokemon Twilight Wings. It's Pokemon Generations, apparently. Oh, I did. That's not even recent. That's like from years ago. Wow. Why are the memes coming out right now? Memes are weird. Somebody. All I know is my problem with Pokemon Generations is it doesn't use the old voice actor for Oak. You were close, but no cigar. I wish that with this new diving update, I could see villagers just heading out into the water and swimming around. They already do almost everything us normal players can do. Uh, Gloria. I've blown weary of run-of-the-mill furniture. I designed a DIY. Oh? A shower? Woo! Let me put on, uh, clothes that are not this. Ba -na 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 -na. Uh, other parts of my town? Also, Dobie. I'm tired from just watching how busy you are. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, th I'm not gonna give him the same voice as Octavian. I think he'd be more like... Uh, a, a tired southern grandpa. Like a... Mm -hmm. Alright, so what to do now? Day's getting away from me. Dobie, he's like a little grandpa wolf. I love him. I actually... <laughs> Look at his mouth. Look at his, how his mouth looks like when his, when his lips are pursed. All right, kiddo. What's on your mind? You're looking downright casual in your horizontal striped wetsuit. I say as long as you're comfortable, who cares what other folks think you're wearing? Oh. Life's too short to spend time fretting. You might set off some noisy killjoy. Toby knows how to live life. Toby has the secrets. He's been around town for long enough. I got Doby and Marina like you. I actually have Doby's uh, amiibo card. It's kind of rare because it's part of the uh, RV update for New Leaf, and people didn't really buy that set as much. I only bought like one pack and it had Doby. You like to think he's the chief of your island. Ironically, not the wolf named chief. All right, okay, so look at this unassuming waterfall. With this beautiful stone arch. You'd think nothing of it, right? Just a little uh, set piece. A little fairy fountain. But... 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 Nintendo. Nintendo, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Wait. No! No! Nintendo! Why? God, oh. gosh dang it. I'm sad now. I'm so sad. There used, to, uh, there used to be a glitch that let you jump through waterfalls. If you set up your waterfalls just like that, with one area of land, with a waterfall diagonally on the other side, you could jump through the wall. That was that was my perfect secret entrance to my pirate cove. Man, now I have to make it a regular entrance. Oh. Just when Nintendo added a new pirate-themed set with Gulliver and whatnot. Speaking of, I need to go get Gulliver's rusted parts. I totally forgot about him. All right, I will use the Wheel of Fate to determine. Whether I give Gulliver his cell phone parts back, or just keep them for myself in case I want to make a second robot hero. Um, the skull indicates second robot hero, by the way. Alright, alright! Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen! 4-4, four, four, Ace, Deuce, Craps, 1-4, one, 1-4! Four, one, four. Check it out, y'all! Ooh, tough luck. Tough luck, buddy. My girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Let's see if it works this way. Wait. Uh, seriously? I was, I was, I was a little bit excited there. Rip Gulliver. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll give him back his stuff. It's been a while since I got. It's been a while since I've seen Gulliver. And, uh, I think he was just still angry at me for taking his parts last time. 
She's sitting. She's sitting. She got a little icy cream. You know I am. This is like the perfect little sitting area. Hold on, I need a picture of this. Don't you move, Marina. Stay right... Oops. Stay right there. <gasps> Beautiful. And this is... She knew! This is why I left these two stumps right here. To spawn bugs as well as attract villagers to sit right down here. In front of the little plaza. I'm gonna turn this into more of a seasonal plaza with decorations around um, certain events and whatnot. It used to be the area to the top left, but that kind of became my Chinese restaurant. I made this little pattern on the ground. It's a checkerboard, alternating black and white tiles. I made sure to shade them in a way that it looks 3D from this angle. When I play the game in the afternoon, the lighting is like perfectly angled for light coming from the southwest. Da, 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 da. All right, Gulliver. I'm gonna get you your parts. Just you wait. Just you hold on to your horses, buddy. Wait a minute. Okay. That was almost bad. Ba -da -da -da. Formal paper. Formal paper. Oh, I know what that is. That's like a diploma. A little diploma item. Grasshopper. Anything new? Nah. Bug off. Has bugged off. Da, 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 da. Let me show you guys my house. Let me show you how much of a mess it is. And yet, I have 148,000 points from the Happy Home Academy, so I'm afraid to change anything. I've kind of just been adding stuff to it in the hopes that I hit that 150,000, and after that, I'm gonna totally renovate everything. DIYs all over the floor because they count against a perfect town, but at this point, I'll probably just give them to my extra villager. Got the bug trophy. Got all three variants of the bug trophy. I played a lot of the bug off in uh, contrast to the fishing tournament. The middle of my room is still a uh, wrestling ring with uh, four variants of Luchador. I think there are five, so if anybody has the missing fifth color, I would love to have it. I got red, pink, green, and yellow. You hate when the balloons are around your house because you have too many flowers. Nintendo has to know about the bug where presents just disappear when they hit flowers. Like that, I guess it's intentional, but it's very sad. Especially with how prolific flowers are. The manga jail, still jailing. Yeah, as far as all the rooms, they're all the same. But in case I redo everything off stream, then I should probably go and uh, make one final pass through all of these. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Back room, still a bathroom sauna thing. I don't think it's hygienic that I have like toilets and bidets and urinals on like wooden floor. And also, also it's steamy. Also, this shower is just on. I'm just asking for mildew at this point. When I was a kid, I actually used to wear diving goggles uh, in the bath. Because I was so afraid of, of shampoo getting to my eyes. It's true. I just realized, I'm just remembering it now because I saw myself in a snorkel in the bathroom. Boom, bam, da, ba, ba. The Japanese room. Still quaint. Still got an oof cushion. Signatures of very important people, including Monoko Odobo. Whoever that is. Yeah. Nice and quaint. Upstairs, uh, still a kitchen. I don't think I've got anything messing up the place up here. Right. A while ago, uh, I ran out of turnip storage space because I've been using them for, um... I've been 
getting more than one inventory's worth of turnips, so my turnip farm can't hold them all. So I've been putting them in my house. Thankfully, I didn't forget any up here. I do have this one little set of spoiled turnips. If anybody wants spoiled turnips, in case you maybe uh, want some ants or whatnot, I will happily donate that one. I don't want to throw it away just in case it's useful to somebody. And the barcade! Yeah! This is where I play Clubhouse Games 51 on Nintendo Switch. I have that game. I want to stream it. Uh, but I don't... I keep, like, not having the time to. You sit on the chicken. Oh! He's very soft and plush and cuddly. What better cushion? This is where you sit and chat up your friends. Get a little coconut drink from the bar. And then you watch the game on this tiny 20-inch screen. It's more arcade than bar, but it still serves a purpose. You can, you know, have dinner here. With the two places to eat. And then you take a shower. Because, boy howdy, have I been to many arcades where the people are just stanky. So what better? What better to have a shower right there? Public access. That's a lot of Olivia posters. Don't you worry about the Olivia posters. You never saw any of them. It's the wallpaper. It just came like that. After I put them all there. Don't question it. We are. Oh, hair. Oh, hair. You better not. You better not think of leaving. You're the first camper. Hey, so I was cleaning up my space a bit. Why is he, why is he Mario? So I was cleaning up my space a bit, and I found some old uh, treasures. Long story short, I'm selling four of those treasures. You want in? Four. I'm listening. Okay, okay. Perhaps a good bargain will raise the level of excitement. So let's see. How about 504 bells for my table setting? I think I have one of those already, so... We'll keep going until he offers me something I don't have. Then I suppose I could sell my wheelchair for 1,890 bells. Why is it so much more expensive? Alright. I'll have to dig pretty deep, pretty deep in the old O'Hare memory warehouse. How about my cherished mesh cap for just... 392 bells. That's that's uh, that's been in the able shop. All right, I'm getting the fourth one. Wow, you're even pickier than me. Okay, last one. You get on my cork board for 980 bells. I guess. Finally, now I can be rid of this curse. I mean, cherished item. Top of the morning to you. I saw a mosquito flying about. Let's see if we can catch that. Adios, nostalgia. See you never. Where? Where? I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. I'm hungry like the wolf. One way or another. I'ma find you. I'll find you. I'll find you. One way or another. I'ma catch you. Alright, Mosquito. You win this time. I don't know if I've caught one yet. But I gotta keep a sharp eye out. Got a lot of fake stuff and Crazy Red. Got this little bust of Nefertiti. Who's... Okay. I was gonna say, who's in my village today? Is it Red? No, it's Gulliver. I keep forgetting Gulliver's here. Sorry, buddy. Maybe if you came more often, I'd have you more in the forefront of my mind. Didn't see anything. That's a good sleepy. O'Hare was my first campsite villager. He was! And I'm so glad to have him. I eventually found Pietro through island tours, so I had to get him as well. But eventually I ran out of islander space. And I gave Pietro to a friend of mine. So O'Hare remains my only smug boy. Communicator pod. Da, 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 da. So even though it's almost 10 p.m. Oh, summer shell. 
It's a new DIY seasonal thing, but I haven't made anything with the summer shells yet. Even though it's almost 10, you'll notice that my time is three hours slow. I've kind of had it there because that's the sweet spot for uh, when I actually get around to playing this game. Everything is closed, so by setting it three hours slow, I'm able to still access the shops and everything. Hmm. Where are these parts? I kind of just kept it like that. Da 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 da. Hoi! Gotcha! Gee, I can't wait to get more clams. How many do I have? Four parts. Use your first campsite villager too. The bunnies, they're taking over. I like to think every bunny villager, every identical bunny villager is actually just the brother or sister of another one. And they all call themselves the same thing. They're just so prolific. Them bunnies, they multiply. They multiply by rat like rabbits. Because they are. That's a nice island. Ah, it's nothing special. I've been working on it for a long while and I kind of just stopped. I kind of just stopped after a long time. A lot of stuff is just kind of half finished. At this point, I just want to tear down a lot of things and start over. The village is kind of the only fully-ish developed part. What I'd like to do is get rid of all these flowers and actually put personalized items in everybody's yard. You can see I kind of started to do that. Um, Bam has some workout equipment. Um, this used to be Pietro's house, so the, the fat Yoshi made a little bit more sense? Maybe? I still have no explanation for why Marina has a lightning orb, but it's cool. Olivia has a little cat tower and litter box. This was under construction, so I had this little hard hat sign, but it's been like that forever. I think it's done. It's like the city of Los Angeles itself, always under construction. Adobe's house used to be, uh, Tabby's, no. It used to be, who used to live here? Meringue used to live here, but then I moved her once, wait. I'm confused. Well, whoever used to live here, this vanity made more sense. Yeah, let's go visit Olivia. She's in her house. Your first campsite villager was Cheddar. Yeah! Rad villagers. I do like some of the rad villagers, but I feel like they're not the most popular. Ooh, what you making? Wait! Look at that little outfit Olivia has on. I made that myself. It's a common rider. Let's game, super game, ultra game. What's your name? I'm a common rider. Nobody is gonna understand what this is unless you like common rider and tokusatsu. A uh, common rider is a uh, motorcycle riding, crime fighting, semi superhero franchise in Japan that's been around for decades, and one of the latest iterations is one that's a doctor and a gamer. So his his chest armor is like a giant game pad, and he's very, very bright pink. It makes sense in context. He's also got a little, like, video game console strapped to his waist that he uses to transform, and he plugs in different games to get different weapons or abilities. It's really, really interesting. Very anime, even though it's live action. You don't mind most of the mice villagers, but you really do like chatter, so uh, it worked out great. Yeah! There's that one mouse villager that everybody hates, but I think I like him because everybody hates him. His name is Moose. He's got like a space theme and he kind of looks like Space Dandy. Yeah. You ha have Francine? You have two rabbits, Chrissy and Francine. You have both Chrissy and Francine? I think they're canonically sisters, aren't they? They're both on the cover of KK Bubblegum. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense for Dobie. What makes sense for Dobie? What? Well, well, you seem awfully interested in what I'm making. Yeah. Tell me. Well, you see, I'm working on a pawn stone. I have one. It's a DI crafting project, my dear. I was daydreaming and then I made it happen. 
It's a nice little DIY. If anybody wants it, uh, let me know and I'll send it to you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same as the Cherry Blossom Pond Stone that was available during Cherry Blossom season, but it doesn't have the blossoms in it. Just a little stone. A little stone, eh? What? The last remnant of my river? I find that rivers just keep taking up space in my town. So, if you look on the little map, only one river goes all the way from the top to the bottom anymore. And this is just a little section that I keep around for fishing. It's really just a pond now. They don't count as a river until they reach the river mouths. Da, 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 da. Oh, the vanity. It makes sense for Dobie. You know, he's always looking his best. Uh -huh. Am I just imagining it? Or does Red Dead Redemption... Sorry, bam. Does Red Dead Redemption 2 have a, um... Have a little feature where you can look in a mirror and adjust, like, your haircut and everything. Uh -huh. Wait. I forgot that your mustache changes to the color that of hair that you have. Alright, let's go back to Narukami style. Da -da -dun 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 -dun. Wait, I'm still wearing a skirt. Eh. It's fine. I'm too lazy to dig it off. Alright, question for the chat. What is your all-time favorite villager? It's hard for me to decide. Ever since the GameCube days, it used to be Hopper the Penguin. Because he was like my grumpy uncle. And he's also a penguin. And he's got them fancy eyebrows. But... More and more, Marina has wormed her way into my heart. Because she's just so adorable, and she's always in the plaza singing KK Bubblegum, and I can't. And I can't. She's also really fun to voice act. Marshall or Joey? Ooh, Marshall, you know, he's that e-boy. Also, Rohan, thanks for uh, coming to the stream. Welcome. I'll check my turnip prices, even though I don't have any. Anybody want to come over? Wow! Okay! Uh, the one time I get a large spike. I've been watching my turnip prices since I started the game. And every time I've had a large spike, it's like, oh yeah, you can potentially have up to 600 bells. Oh, sorry, 230. This is the highest I've ever seen it in my town. I think the second highest I've ever seen it in anybody else's town. 599! <laughs> uh, if anybody has turnips to sell, I'll, 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 I guess I'll open up after stream. I don't have any turnips. I got more than enough money. But, wow. I just happened to check. Rohan's been lurking for 10 minutes. Ain't no problem. Whether you're lurking or engaging, it doesn't matter. What matters is you're enjoying. Checking out my, uh, town. So, uh, this... Probably one of the most time spent... Most effort spent things in my town. The little boardwalk pier marketplace. You can have your little carnival games. Play with the giant Gundam. Spin the wheel, win prizes. Dun 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 dun. Ha! Unfortunately, it's really hard to see the result of the carnival game. But, you know, you take a prize anyway. Dun 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 dun. We got both shops up here. If the rumor is true that Kix is gonna get his own shop, I'll probably put him, like, somewhere up here. Unfortunately, we'll have to take care of the- uh, we'll have to take out the fish market. What is that? Tiger beetle? Tiger beetle. 
Got a fish market over here. You can buy fresh sushi. You can get some takoyaki, rakoyaki. Get some ice cream. It's wonderful. Ba -na -na -da. Sleepy didn't buy turnips. I didn't either. So sad. Over here we have uh, Godzilla. Watching over the town. Protecting from danger. Complete with a scale model of a building. I need to find more furniture that can act as buildings. Yeah, I get roaches. So I can put them down next to Godzilla. What is... What is... What is that? Is that a thing? What is that? Oh, that's a hermit crab. It was stuck in the rock. Like, what does that eat? It didn't even look like anything I recognized. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, communicator parts. I have all five. Let's go talk to Gulliver. Uh, you do want Bam and that old eagle dude. Apollo? Though you got Raymond, which people seem to like, though. Raymond's a popular boy. Don't ever feel bad for having him. A lot of people are, like, making fun of him just because he's popular. Like, come on. Why is it suddenly cool to hate popular things? The internet seems to be all about that these days. Just let people like what they like. This game is about being comfy. And making it however you want it. If you like, if you like Raymond, then you can have Raymond. I just hope that Nintendo makes an amiibo card of each of the new villagers some at some point. Because it is getting ridiculous what people are willing to go through to get villagers. Like, oh, let's spend 300 Nook Mile tickets uh, just to go see him. Hey, did you find him? I got him right here. People only hate Raymond because their favorite villager could never be like Raymond. I actually saw some people... Um, Making quote unquote bootleg Raymonds by giving cat villagers the glasses and the uh, and the business vest. It's hilarious. Just making a whole town of bootleg Raymonds. That's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you dull troublemakers. All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Same, same. I'll have to go check what I get in the mail. Speaking of the mail, did I ever finish checking my mail? I got a letter. Every month your mom sends you a little gift in the mail. And uh, you may have seen it in, oh, I'm very close to the letter limit. I got to delete some stuff. Uh, She sends you a little gift. You may have seen it in my house. It's a little plushy. My dear Chris, the cicadas cry into the morning light. Awakening the world for their cacophonous symphony. Your mother cries out as well, lamenting her lack of sleep. Less sleep, more snuggles? Mom. Words to live by. You'd, gra you'd gladly trade Raymond for a bam. I... <laughs> well, I have bam and I never want him to leave. He still has a starting house, which means he only has a bed, a table, and a crafting table. He 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 needs he, he he needs to actually get some furniture. I worry for him. Keeps talking about working out, but he doesn't have any equipment. Let's actually go and uh, customize this little plushie. The stuff you get from mom is usually customizable. Usually, yes. Let's see what we get. Ooh, polka dots, pop poppers, poppers, poggers, pipa, Gertie, and Rory. I like Rory. Oh, I see. There's, they got even. They even got different models. These are like dongs, but then there's two lion ones. I don't know. I'm deciding between poppers and Rory. Bedford. It's so adorable. I wish I had two of these. I wish I had two of these. I would make Puppers and Rory. You got sent Gertie. It's interesting that it comes with a, def with a default, but you can make it whatever you want. 
There's a Discord that gives away villagers for free. The creators retire to people selling them, so... Uh... Oh! Nice! That's ethical hacking right there. Uh, like, obviously, they're... Either they're spending a lot of time finding villagers just to give them away, or they're just hacking them in. Yeah! Combat the third-party market. The black market. Like, they should be your friends, these villagers. They shouldn't be things to be sold and traded. If you want them, you should be able to get them. I'm gonna make puppers. Ah, it's okay, sleepy memories. I don't need the second one. You'll get another one after a year, so... You know, only, only 365 more days. Beautiful. Happy Home Academy, please. Please give me that final prize. You love Dom, but he's got a basic house. You have Dom! Ah! The adorable jock sheep who looks like he's about to cry every waking moment. Why is my inventory still so full? I'm gonna go sell some stuff. But do 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 do. You want to have the blue one. You're worried it might bl blend into your floor and wallpaper. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's camouflage. The beauty is you can just try it out. And if you don't like it, you can uh, customize it again. It only costs one crafting uh, customization kit. Ba -ba -ba -da. I get distracted by my turnip price when I went to sell stuff. So let's actually you know, get rid of some things. Dun, 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 dun. I don't need that. Even though I just got it. Uh, sell... Blue Bottle, Tiger Beetle. Normally I'd keep the Emperor Butterfly. To wait for Flick, but my my, my storage is literally full. Da, 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 da. After all that, I only sold two things. Three things. Bum 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 bum. Sleepy has all the mom's things. Wait a minute. I smell time travel. Marty! Dune. I need to put the piano somewhere. What am I thinking? I keep all the instruments out by my main plaza, so if any villagers start singing, sometimes others join in. Playing an instrument. Toby, this is a public space. You don't need to sweep it. It's not your responsibility. It's okay. I'm gonna have to make space. Mm. Oops. I'm gonna put it right here. Oops. This is what I hate the most about flowers. You really can't get rid of them unless you explicitly dig them up. You didn't time travel, you just did trade. Fair enough, Sleepy. Ash Cash, what's up? Hello, hello. Welcome to Animal Crossing. We're checking out the new update. We spent a lot of time catching, uh... Sea life and then donating them to Blathers. And now we're just hanging out. Cleaning up the town a little bit, decorating. Yeah, just, you know, regular stuff. Nothing too, um... Exciting. Although I did just get a grand piano. Grand? It doesn't quite fit decor-wise, but I hope somebody just goes up and... Maestro! Yeah! They're also playing! Yeah! Animal Crossing! I'm not really opening my town right now, but... You know, just, uh... Going over once more. Other parts of my town I didn't show off yet. We got a little star pond. It used to be a regular pond, but I uh, made it more of a feature. You can see it on the map. Well, when my player icon's not in front of it. You can see it on the map. Isn't it beautiful? This is my storage house. This is where the extra player lives. I need to go transfer stuff. I am full up anyway. I haven't really decorated it. 
but eventually I'm gonna use it as like an extra storage area. I use the storage already, but maybe like decorate it, maybe make it into a grocery store or some kind of mini museum. Here we got the Chinese restaurant. Make sure you uh, ask for a table from the secretary. Uh, come with your whole party, celebrate your graduation, celebrate weddings, whatever you want. And then you can play in you can play in the flower blade. This used to be just a couple of flowers, and then they overran the entire place. There's weeds everywhere. You can tell I haven't been playing all that often. I like the summer weeds. They're actually pretty decorative. I'd keep them around if they didn't overrun everything. You just started decorating today. Hey, everyone's got to start somewhere. Here's my advice if you've uh, just started playing Animal Crossing. Don't get too attached to anything in your island. Because, you know, eventually you get the ability to terraform and just redo the entire layout. There will be parts of your island that you'll just say, You know what? Tear it all down. Keep none of it. Weeds. 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 Anybody know if Pascal is like a daily thing? Or does he... Is he like Wisp in that he can't appear on the same day that another visitor is in town? I sure hope it's the latter. Because there's already so many villager vis visitors in the game as is. You never see Crazy Red. You never see Gulliver. They're on that cycle that alternates every other week. So if you just happen to not play on the day they're in, it'll be like an entire month before you see them again. I'm not sure if I agree with that design decision by Nintendo. It's technically better than it was on Animal Crossing GameCube because sometimes you wouldn't see a certain, certain villager for an entire month. But because there is somebody every day, it just stands out. There we go. Oh, not just started playing, but you just started decorating. 320 hours in the game. I mean, I got 400 hours, but it still also feels like I barely started. This game does that to you. You have Celeste. Ooh. I had Celeste uh, last night, actually. I got the uh, crab table. Crab! Not last night, two nights ago. If it was last night, there'd be a lot of uh, star bits on my beach. But I, th I think I'm good on uh, wishing stars at the moment. I've got so many in storage. Again, the storage is literally full. I'm sad about my Pirate Cove. Why would Nintendo patch out the waterfall thing? It was so useful and cute. Da -da -da -da. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know how many weeds are back here. Could be a lot. No, it just seems to be that few. Not bad, not bad. Head on down. Yeah. I was looking forward to all the pirate stuff Gulliver was gonna have. Oh, let's do some fishing. I haven't fished really at all since the beginning of July. I kind of like a couple of things, but I don't know if there's n really any new river fish or ocean fish. Come on, fishy fishy. Here, fishy fishy. Got him. It's a tilapia. Makes me happier. Apparently I've caught it before, but I don't remember ever catching it on stream. Did I donate it? Have I donated it yet? Did I donate it yet? Your app has been upgraded with additional information about the sea creatures you captured. Ooh! I wonder how seasonal they are. 
Uh, this is... Okay, so they definitely have seasonalities. Just checking if I already have donated a tilapia. Basically checking if I... If there's anything I haven't donated. So I can at least get that out of my storage. Da, da. I'm usually on top of donating everything to Blathers, but sometimes my inventory gets full and I have to go to somebody's island to like buy turnips or something. So I put it away and just forget to donate it. Looks like I did everything fish wise, so that's good. How about insect wise? What did Nintendo patch? Uh, I'll show you. Uh, I still have it in my town, it just doesn't work anymore. It's right here at the bottom of my pirate cove. Just let me double check, double check, double check. Da, 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 da. I think we're good. This little unassuming waterfall right here. There used to be a glitch that let you pass right through. If you walked at this waterfall at the right angle, you could jump on through to the other side. You can use it to make secret entrances to maybe pirate caves or whatnot. I'm gonna have to deconstruct that later. Unfortunate. <laughs> Mary, what you what you looking at? I have an idea. Let's see how many more times we can talk to each other today. Whee! I wanna chat. Red has it gone over from Protofield. It was so great to see them. Is it true they were catching a lot of bugs? Do you think they give me some pointers? It was the bug off, yes. Where were you? I thought you were on my team, Mary. Have you ever been inside Marina's house before? She's a legit interior decorator. Like the magazines say, you need to decorate like someone might see it. I don't have as much fun talking to the villagers as I did in the other Animal Crossing games. I don't know what it is. I think their dialogue just isn't as interesting as it used to be. They used to talk about their hobbies and whatnot. Now it's just like, hey, your friend came over. How are they doing? Okay, bye. Hey, shut up. What? It's the latest. Quick question. Any chance that Chicky has like a dream gig to shoot for? Chicky, that's the name of my uh, pack mule character. My extra human. It's possible. Yellow Pikachu, what's up? Dancing on in. Hope you're doing well today. We're uh, talking to our villagers, you know. The huge. Yeah, I wasn't that sure either. Guess I'll have to bug him about it next time we hang out. What, what? Did I say no? I said no. Alright, bye, Cherry. How you doing, Pika? Any ideas on what villager I should get next? Maybe a cow? Get this! I yeah, hope you've been having a good day. Hope you're ready for a good weekend. I've got the day off tomorrow. I was gonna play this at daytime tomorrow, but this works out too. Tomorrow, we're just gonna end up playing more Persona 4, and it's gonna be cool, because we can play it both tomorrow and Saturday. Oh, also on my beach. I need to decorate my beach more now that there's stuff to do on the beach. But I got this, uh... I got this little campsite, little barbecue. Grill up some steaks. Some shrimps on the Barbie. It's gonna be a surf in summer. You can hang out, get a tan. Everything you need. Da, 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 da. This used to be my DIY area for giving out DIYs to people. But again, they count against your uh, perfect island score. So I just emptied, emptied the stands for now. This box, don't open this box. It's dangerous. Yellow Pikachu's doing better now. It was stressful today. Uh-oh. Well, I'm glad it's over, Yellow Pikachu. Or at least I'm glad it's a little bit better. By all means. By all means. Take care of yourself. Please. Open this. Open a cow? Just access all the delicious beef inside. That is a good idea. Just uh, don't say that in, in front of the villager named Patty. Cancer table. Jungle flooring. Jungle boogie. We got some cool stuff, actually. The craft. I don't feel a particular need to make it. I'm full up again. 
Yeah, let me just repair my shovel. I was gonna go hit all the rocks, farm all the materials and stuff. I'm in a tight spot. I'm in a tight spot right now. I have entirely too many items. Storage is full and my pockets are full. Da 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 da. Besides that, we've just been having a chill day. I can go analyze these fossils. I can guarantee they won't be anything special. Ah, here we go. We can combine these. That frees up a little more space. Oh, uh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I'll sell some flowers. I'll dig up some flowers and then sell them because I do not need all of these. All of this. This is entirely too much. Get these out of the way. They're weeds at this point. Oh. Swap it. Swap it with what? I can't... I, 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 bury this money. Bury me with my money. Perfect. So I was actually testing Yoshi's Island on my Super Nintendo earlier. I've been wanting to play Yoshi's Island on stream. Uh, so I was just setting up ways to do that. Uh, I'm pretty much, it's a given that I'm going to play the Super Nintendo version. But the question is, what, how, how exactly to do that? I've got three ways. I've got my actual Super Nintendo that I had when I was a kid. I don't own Yoshi's Island, but don't worry about it. I'll find a way. I can find a way to play it on there. It's also on the Nintendo Switch Online, as well as the Super Nintendo Mini. I think I'm going to lean towards actually playing it on my old Super Nintendo, because I've got the setup. I've got a very, very... uh. Fancy scaler, specifically for retro games. And you know, I didn't buy that setup for nothing. So any chance I get to play on real hardware, I will. I played Paper Mario not too long ago on an actual Nintendo 64. So that uh, goes to show how dedicated I am. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, ba dum, ba dum. Ba da ba bum, ba dum. Ba -ba -bum -ba -dum. Not sure what my goals are right now. At this point, I'm just making more space. I've reached critical mass. She cannot take any more, Captain. She's gonna blow. Da -da -da -da. That one. 1588. Okay, I freed up a little bit of space, but this, this, this is, this is ridiculous. This is redonkadonk. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think one of the fossils I need is actually in here, and I never got around to donating it. Let me see. I'm missing the Ankylosaur head and the T-Rex head. T-Rex head, right here. Right here. Do I have any of the Ankylosaur? It would be... It It would... It would be... Yeah, it would be... Alphabetical, wouldn't it? Hey? Brachio chest, Brachio skull, Brachio tail, but no Brachio butt. Unfortunate. I'm keeping two of each fossil in case anybody needs them. Um, I think at this point, I'll just sell the rest. Look, I got three Triceratails. I don't need this many. Yeah, this will free up a lot of space, actually. If anybody's been playing Animal Crossing and needs any specific fossils, let let me know if you see one that, you, that I have that you need. This is too much. Down, 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 bow, bow. I was talking earlier about the video game music meme I've been doing. Today's theme was title screen music. Mary's still checking out that waterfall. Maybe there's a secret behind there. 
She knows how to walk into waterfalls. She's not telling me. Mary, reveal your secrets unto me. I'll make it worth your while. What do you want from me? You want bells? You want furniture? What do you want? I can give you a Triceratale. You want a Triceratale? Hi, good to see you again. We. Oui. Uh, this is gonna sound really weird, but I told you I saw someone washed up on the shore. Uh, oh yeah, that's Gulliver. We don't talk about him. <laughs> Try waking him up gently. I smacked him with a net, Mary. I think he's a heavy sleeper. He's okay with it. It's happened before. I love when the villagers bother to sweep literal dirt. It's not gonna get any less hygienic. More hygienic, Zucker. It's still dirt. Surprise, it's still dirty. Uh, on the topic of Mega Man X, I actually, uh, saw that they made... They reprinted Mega Man X and Mega Man 2? For the 30th anniversary of Mega Man, I guess? These are actually licensed by Capcom and working cartridges that work in your Super Nintendo and NES. And I'm a sucker. I'm a big sucker for them because they are super overpriced. Don't ask how much they cost. But like, I've always wanted physical copies of these specific games and they are licensed. So it's not like, oh, it's just a ROM. Like this is literally a reprint of the game. Call me a fool. And I am very much easily parted from my money. I will not deny it. Donation. What would you like to donate? T-Rex skull. Ooh, 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 could it be? It is a T-Rex skull. Does this mean? Yes, the T-Rex is complete. The T-Rex was a remarkable creature. Let's hear about it. I say that the T-Rex is the 800 pound gorilla of the dinosaur world when it likely weighed well over nine tons. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. Had up to 42 feet long with banana-sized teeth. I for- yeah. This was like one of the very first descriptions I read on stream. And then I put a picture of Rex from Toy Story and put bananas in his mouth. I love this one. Fossil section not quite done yet though. Hey Blathers. By any chance, the three fossils I have in my inventory, are they the exact three fossils missing from our display? Ooh! Yes, indeed! Ah. Whatever, whatever! More to sell. I'm gonna get tons of money. Loads of money! Dosh, grab it while you can, lads. Night Mage Mystic! Adobo sama! Chama set by Chama! I don't think that's an honorific. What's up, Night Mage? Welcome, welcome. Uh, as you can see, I am very much Senpai right now. Sensei Senpai. <laughs> yeah, Persona 4. I'm doing a little bit of cosplay, and we're playing Animal Crossing. Checking up on the town one more time. I feel like I'm gonna redo it at some point off stream. So I'm trying to be as thorough as possible with my tour. Just here and there. Not specifically setting out to show everything at once. But just walking all around town. I wasn't kidding, by the way, when I said these flowers are getting ridiculous. They just blend with the weeds for me. Wow, I'm just full. I'm just full. This is bad. I gotta go sell some stuff. Oop. Hope you've been well, Night Mage. How's life? Da 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 da. Been watching a lot of streams, I presume. Here's my little orchard. I've got at least eight. Yeah, eight of every type of tree. All the fruit. My native fruit is pears, but I got anything you need. Fruits for days. 
I spent all my Nook Miles on tickets to go villager hunting, but they never got used. Ba -da -ba -ba. There's a little playground over here with a little clay model. I like to think he's Totodile. Da -da -da. What time is it in game? 7? 7? 7.30. Not even a problem. Flower problems. Tell you about it. Your island is overrun. I am seriously considering just going and digging up all the flowers I can. It's, it's just ridiculous at this point. I'm not decorating outside because there's too many flowers taking up all the spots. My storage is full because I can't put furniture anywhere. My pockets are always full because my storage is always full. Let's just let's just nip this problem in the bud, shall we? Da -da -da -da. Let's see if any of these I just don't need. Corkboard, get out of here. Baby bear, I can get it from I can get it from the catalog. It's fine. Dun 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 da da. Bum 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 bum. What is a silk floral print shirt? 36,000, wow. Loads of money. Oh, I heard Critical Role is back. Also, this is a very pretty shirt. I like it. I think this is what Genji wears. Critical Role is back. You just finished it after it was on hiatus for three months. How is it? Are the adventures going adventurous? What 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 does a typical day in the life look like for the characters being played in Critical Role Dungeons and Dragons? I've played Dungeons and Dragons a couple of times I've mentioned on stream, but I feel like we haven't really ever tapped into the full potential of it. The best part of D&D is that it's an RPG where you can do whatever you want. Your on the only limit is your imagination and the imagination of your DM. And yes, I do have the uh, fancy path that everybody has that has like transparency and looks like dirt. I normally feel bad whenever I use the same design that everybody else in the world is using. But I... This... I like it because it looks natural and it's based on the design of dirt pads in every other Animal Crossing game. So really, it's just bringing back what's missing from the What's missing from how the game used to be? Dun, 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 dun. What am I doing? I'm putting on the Narukami shirt again. There you go. You've gone a month and a half without a hospital visit. Wait a minute. Do you usually go more often? I, don't know, I feel like you, sh you should probably keep doing that. Shenanigans, drama, funny jokes, and awesomeness. <gasps> wow. I wish my D&D games were half as exciting. They just came up on an island with a brainwashing cult. Oh, so it's Animal Crossing. Right? They're, they're just they're just they're just cosplaying Animal Crossing. Da -da -da -da. Cosplaying. I guess role-playing. Is this a different cult? It's White Lily. Okay. I was wondering if my eyes were playing tricks on me. I'm always too scared of getting rid of pink flowers because they're special. But I have so many pink lilies. Lilies are the natural flower on my- Look at this! Look, this is ridiculous. I just started like the four in front of my house and somehow they- They're just invading. Da, da, da. These tulips too, don't eat them. Be gone flowers. Da 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 ba, ba, ba. Ah, I see Night Mage. So does that mean it's gotten better? I hope that means it's gotten better for you. And you don't need it. I just hope it's a good sign. I hope... That whatever you need, you're getting it in these times.
Just take care of yourself, okay? Ah, I see. Well, that's good news. Uh-oh, stinky. Too much, too much stuff. I gotta put away some more clothes. Done, and sell some more fossils. It's an ongoing cycle. Buckle up, people. This is gonna be the rest of the stream. Dungeons and dragons. I think the real thing you need with Dungeons and Dragons is a good DM. Able to roll with the punches, you know? Come up with stuff on the spot, like... If the adventure you're playing has an NPC, and the, 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 the pre-made adventure, all they give you is, Oh, this is the person that runs the bar, and they are an elf. There you go! If the party tries to rec recruit them as a party member, you have to come up with a backstory on the spot. What kind of like elder god they worship? What 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 is their motivation in life? That is a that that is a lot of pressure. I am not nearly that creative. The most I've ever done while DMing is like my friends were fighting this dragon. And somebody rolled a 20 on Charisma check. So the dragon fell in love with him and stole him and kidnapped him to the top of her tower. Basically what happened to Donkey from Shrek. But then everybody was too tired to actually like really play out the scenario. So all that really happened was she left him in a golden cage and she just... I just said, oh, she she went out to get food. Uh, you guys escaped. You win. The end. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta keep in mind how um, your party feels when you're DMing in D&D. If nobody's feeling the adventure, might as well not drag it out, you know? Bum, ba dum bum, ba dum ba dum ba dum bum. I think I'll just sell everything in my inventory for now. So Sapphire, what's up? Also the dolphin, thanks for the host. How y'all doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. We did some diving, we had a fun time. Uh, we're now, now we're just kind of clearing out inventory because my, my storage is literally filling up. The other day it was full and I could tell, not because I put stuff in it, but because I went to the Able Sisters and when I bought stuff, she said, I'll slip it into your pockets instead of I'll send it to your invent, I'll send it to your to your, to your, to your storage. Twas a bad sign. Yeah. Da, 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 da. My streams help, Night Mage. Oh, that's, thank you. I, I can't promise anything, but I can promise that my streams will be chill and it'll be a fun place to be. Matt Mercer's the DM. I want him to, I want him to roleplay Kanji. I wanted to roleplay Kanji Tatsumi, or Jotaro Kujo, because he's played both. Get bent! Alright. The dolphin says, Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them But when the world needed them most. <laughs> Sounds pretty compelling. I'd say you could create a whole sort of series out of that dolphin. Maybe uh, put it on Nickelodeon. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I know a lot of people have been getting into Avatar again, and I'm all for it. I've been seeing a lot of art on my Twitter timeline. I've been seeing a lot of like people discussing the fact that there is no war in Bossing Say. Well, how do they do it? Such such a peaceful city. They are just the perfect example of uh, peace and love. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How you guys doing today? You're loving how my character is looking, Soul Sapphire. You know it. I'm sorry. I'm looking with my eyes, just like any other normal person. I'm getting the hang of it. 
I'm getting the hang of the timing for that meme. The specialist meme. I, I, it's, it's one of, it's my new favorite thing. It's my new favorite thing. Now Rokami comically missing the point. Of whatever situation, social or otherwise, he's in. Girl asked me if I'm doing anything after work. Of course I am. I'm going home and sleeping. <laughs> the skills. I want Club LOL to come back so I can go dance in this game. Because the emotions are fun. But what about dancing? I want to show off my grooves. The avatar vanished. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll find him again someday. Night Mage just wanted to say hoy and catch up. You're probably going to hop into Druby stream or alert. It was nice talking. Well, yeah, no problem, Night Mage. What's Druby playing today, by the way? We might raid him. It's been a while since the last time we did. I've been thinking about it. If there's no other rare opportunity, then I think I will. Uh, it's only been, like, a bit short of three hours for the stream. But, like, if all I'm doing is... <laughs> if all I'm really doing is cleaning out my inventory, that's not going to be super interesting. Just, there's nothing new to talk about. You know, just we're just chilling. Uh, common Rider, don't be sad. What's, what's What are you sad about? Did you get dinner? Was it good? I hope it was good. But da, 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 da. I will say the attention to detail in the Yasugami High Persona 4 outfit, it's stunning. They've got that little stitch pattern for all the seams. The little checkerboard around the collar reminds me of Kokichi from Danganronpa. <laughs> Even how the shirt is slightly open. Oh, it is perfect. It is perfect. I'm glad I found it right before stream. Let me see if I can perfect this outfit even further. Let me just put stuff in the storage while I have the ability to do so. Dun, 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 dun. I'm keeping the sailor tea. I might give that to a villager. Uh, these flowers are purple, so I'm keeping them. Snorkel. You don't need it to go with a diving outfit, but I feel like it completes the look. Beach ball. Oh, this is a special beach ball. I'll put that down on the beach when I get a chance. We put on actual shoes here. Down by the bay, where the watermelon grow. Down to my home, I dare not go. Seriously, where the watermelon grow. This is the cutest version of the beach ball. I'm gonna order a ton of these from the, from, from the catalog. It's a little watermelon. I would love if the little cube watermelons from that, that, that they grow in Japan were available as an item. I've seen them. I, I've seen Japanese fruit markets. I've seen... I, I, I went to a little um, farmer's market type thing on Mount Fuji itself. And I saw them selling Fuji apples on Mount Fuji. It doesn't get more authentic than that, folks. It really does not. I meant to go get fossils to sell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Ninja. Yeah, I caught a mosquito. It's itching for a fight. Do chickens need shoes? I think I saw somewhere, maybe I'm imagining it, but somebody made little snowshoes for either ducks or chickens. Ducks it. So that they're able to walk around in the snow, like it's no problem. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I found the money rock. I can't afford to let any of these go to waste. Oh yeah, perfect. You win. Thanks for the lurk, Night Mage. Oh, he's doing more Fire Emblem, nice. I wonder if I've died yet in that playthrough. He named a character after me. He was a big old dwarf man. I right, yeah, we'll definitely go check up on him after stream then. Common Rider had leftover chicken. What? What was it me? I'm sorry. I'm just leftovers. I wanted to be the main course, but I'm just not good enough. 
He wants some watermelon now. It is getting close to summer. Well, it is summer now. It is the summer fruit. Oh, at work, uh, every time summer started, we'd have a thing called Watermelon Wednesdays. It was never really officially a thing, but it's a thing. Uh, we'd delegate one of us uh, to go buy a watermelon before work and bring it in every Wednesday. And it was really easy because our workplace, the office, is right in front of a grocery store. So even if you forget and it's your turn, you can just like quickly hop out during your lunch break and go buy a watermelon. And then you cut it up and then everybody gets to share it. I missed that. Ah, oh, that was supposed to that was that was supposed to be. That was supposed to be now. It's a pastime. It's funny, because uh, one of the uh, executives would argue like, It's not a thing! Stop making it a thing! And really, it's a thing. Deal with it. Here, have some watermelon. Da. Why she needs dinner with chicken strips. Everybody's eating chicken nowadays. I'm all for it. I will always advocate for it. People always think they have to apologize. Like, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Chicken. I ate you for dinner. I'm like, what's there to be sorry for? I live to sustain. Da, 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 da. You think a mosquito caught you? No, yellow Pikachu! Watch out in real life. It is mosquito season out there too. Oh, great. Eight rocks. Thank you. You're like Charlie Brown over here. I got a rock. Cute little shoes. Cute little snowshoes. I I'm not imagining that, am I? I hope not. My chicken laid another blue egg. Just gonna harvest that. Have some breakfast for later. They were like tiny little tennis racket shoes. I've always thought that snowshoes were basically just tennis rackets. If you wanted to go play tennis, just just go just go take them off your feet. Da, 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 da. Very chill, very relaxing. I think three hour offset is the perfect amount for playing Animal Crossing at my usual time. What else are we doing today? I think I hit most of my rocks. Who's playing drums? Doby Doby! Doby, you see, he's a retired rock star. Way back in the late 70s, he was in one of those cover bands that thought they could make it big. Like, he was gonna be the next queen! But, you know, due to health problems, he had to, he had to give up that life traveling around. He started a family. They wanted to move... Um, they wanted to move to another country, but he couldn't come with them. He had to hold down the fort. So he's just living his life, his retirement days out here, waiting for the next call from his children. They call sometimes, but not often enough. I've made a sad story, now I need to make it sad music. Close enough. Aw. <laughs> Wait, you don't want to play the mariachi music? I'll play to it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't be rocking it. It feels like they're... my animals only ever play the drums. I mean, I, I lay all these instruments out there for them, but they just gravitate. Is it because the drums are so smug? was thinking of uh, what theme to make my house. I'm thinking Juness. I'm thinking every day's great at your Juness. Make it a little grocery store. Department store. Put the electronics room in one side. Put a bunch of TVs. That's where you enter the shadow world. Put a little teddy bear and that's Teddy. Sensei! Speaking of...
I keep like forgetting to mention I changed my town tune since before. Right now it's the eight melodies from Earthbound. But uh let's 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 change it up a little bit. I love Earthbound, but we're doing we're doing a little we're doing a different theme these days. Every day is great at your Juness. How inspiring! Your new island tune makes me so proud to call Hollandaise my home. Nanako would be proud. Every day, young life, Junessu. Hey, how's it going, home? These paving stones sure class up the plaza. Mmm, nice. Ah, oh, Chris, how are things, Shortcake? This weather is just perfect for a stroll around the island, isn't it? Sure is! Wait a minute, they might talk to each other. That's where, the, that's where all the interesting dialogue is these days. When your islanders talk to each other. Otherwise, they just have the short blurbs about the weather. Or the weather. Back in my day, talking to your villagers was the only entertainment we got out of Animal Crossing. And they were mean to ya. They 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 complained about your clothes. They complained about your hair. They complained about that weird Viking hat that you used to wear. They'd sulk and they'd stare over here and over there. Clean it up, clean it up. Everybody clean up. I am very, 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 very much regretting having saved all those fossils. They take up a large amount of my storage space. Here we go, here we go. One of the reasons for putting the shop down by the beach was to keep it closer to my house makes these uh, cleanup runs that much more smoother. Now it's actually the shop theme. This is Juness. Every day, young life, Junessu. I should make a button for that. I've got the button for specialist. You know our comedy. I need a Nanako button. 20,000? 54,000. Roll it in dough. Ah, sure, why not? Let's also sell some buggies. Gotta make sure not to sell the mosquito. I know I have more than enough weeds and rocks. But I just can't bear it. What if I need it for a DIY or something? It just feels bad, man. Sold! To the twins in the aprons. Pleasure doing business with you.
random question, but did anybody ever watch Clone High back when it was on, I think, MTV? Even when I was, uh, just in middle school, I would just catch it every now and then. And it was actually really fun. A show about clones of famous historical figures. And just put them in the modern age. Put them all in the same high school. Cleopatra, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, and Gandhi. Joan of Arc. All in their little friend circle. Not really Cleopatra and John F. Kennedy. They were a couple and they were just like the popular kids. And they'd sometimes interact with Gandhi and Abraham Lincoln. The reason I bring that up is I just heard news. Well, not a donation. I need to sell. Or actually, I need to donate. They're bringing it back. I think Comedy Central picked it up, actually. But they're working with the original creators, making more episodes. I never thought I'd see the day. I think the original creators had a huge hand in making Into the Spider-Verse, and I think maybe the success of that, like, put them back into the spotlight? Something like that? I am very unknowledgeable when it comes to movies and whatnot. But I'm all for that. I should go watch the original series. Hey, a mosquito! What a wretched thing. Be careful. Ancient mosquitoes might have DNA that allow us to clone dinosaurs. Inside the blood, inside their stomachs. In that case, ahem. As everyone knows, the mosquito is a vampiric pest that sucks blood from innocent bystanders. But did you know that only the females suck blood? Oh, it's true. They needed to make their eggs. Blood eggs. When they sink their snout into our skin, they inject us with a saliva that helps them slip up their meal. It's that saliva that makes us itch and scratch, you know. Oh, so rude. Anywho. Ew, they're spitting inside us. Gross. Very rude. How rude. Imagine if mosquitoes... Like... Didn't suck. Like, literally. What if they were just... What, what do they do for the ecosystem? I think scientists analyzed mosquito behavior and came to the conclusion that they do absolutely nothing helpful. Like, unlike bees, they don't pollinate flowers. They don't... They don't, like, take care of any other pests down the food chain. They just exist to multiply and to suck our blood and to give us diseases. If there was a way to accurately simulate our world and say for sure what would happen if all the mosquitoes just disappeared, I would love to see the scientific results. Too many flowers. I'm going to get rid of them. Those darn mosquitoes. Screw them. We don't need them. One of them owes me five bucks. They never paid it back. Dang bloodsuckers. Yeah. What's up? What, what, what is everybody up to nowadays? Any video games y'all are playing? Anything new you're excited for? I know a lot of people were excited for the summer update, but it's not much. I mean, it's diving. Really cool that they added the feature back. It gives us an activity to do with friends online, at least. You can play, like, underwater tag. That'd be fun. Never trust the mosquito. Like Adams, they make up everything. That doesn't make sense. You've been getting back into Guild Wars too. That's one of those MMOs that never really got super popular, but everyone I know that has played it loves it. I guess it's that good. Way, way back when it first came out, I, I installed it, but I never actually launched it. That's the thing about me and MMOs. Because I never usually know enough friends. Did I just pick flowers? Please tell me I didn't pick flowers. I hate doing that. Okay, good. It's weeds. 
Oh, the big thing about me and MMOs, I only would really play them if friends are playing them. But I can never synchronize my schedule up with enough friends to play them with. Either I'm busy or they're busy. Adulting is hard. I got a lot of Jacob's Ladders. I just noticed two more spawned up there. There are three down here. Is my town really still perfect? No way. It's been in way too much disarray. Used to play alone, but it's so much more fun with friends. I hear you on that. Absolutely. The first MMO I ever played was Ragnarok Online. Of course, on unofficial servers, because, like, it was just me and my friends handing uh, back and forth the same CD with the same uh, CD keys to play on these unofficial servers. Is Dobie studying the giant robot? <gasps> he... He... He knows how to operate it! Are you... Were you a Gundam pilot in your past life? Dobie is like that cool grandpa. He used to be a rock star. He used to be a Gundam pilot. He used to be... He used to be... Uh, he, he fought wars, you know. He fought in the great war between the ESFSF and the and the Xeon forces. He's been there. He fought against Char Aznable himself. He used to do it all. And Dobie's a badass. I want... I want to see art of, like, a young Dobie fighting the Space Wars. The Great Space Wars of UC0079. He's covered wars, you know. Dude's a grizzled vet. A grizzled vet! He's not even a grizzly bear! He's Amuro Ray? I'm sure there's canonically other Gundam- or, well, there are other Gundam pilots. I'm sure there's canonically other pilots who have fought against Char, and maybe lived. Maybe he was in a GM, and he took a couple of pot shots at him. And Char was too busy fighting Amuro to notice. I'm sure every GM pilot that went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Char just exploded. F. Alright, let's, let's continue our def- our, our flower removal. I was gonna say something else. The only MMO you play is FF14. That's also a good one. Ever since they reinvented it. Fight Char? Chicken Char. The most delicious and fastest adversary you ever did see. What else am I doing here? Put that away. More flowers, let's go! You only have the capacity to get into one MMO at a time. Hey, that's more than me! I don't have... I just don't have the time. Don't have the time to do even one. Like, sure, if I didn't stream as much, I could play more MMOs. Or if I streamed MMOs. I don't... I, I, I just don't feel like I could stream an MMO. It's just not my thing. I like to play story-based games, or at least games where I can actively work towards a goal. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on? We got a raid, raid, the raid, they, the raid, 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 the raid, the raid, the raid, 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 what's up? <laughs> Hillian Andrew, can we get a shout out for Hillian Andrew? Uh, Sapphire Velvet Shock, thanks for the follow. Welcome, 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 welcome on it, everybody, to my, uh, very overgrown Animal Crossing town. We're just doing a little bit of maintenance. Since there was a new update today, I took a hard look at the state of my town and I realized there is just too much. There's too much flowers, there's too much furniture. I need to clean up. Yeah! Uh, Yellow Pikachu, thanks for giving that shout out. Hillian Andrew, if you guys don't know Hillian Andrew, uh, judging by the name, you can probably guess he plays Zelda games, but he also plays Overwatch and other stuff too. Very cool dude. Very cool dude. Uh, go give him a follow. Very nice to hang out with. 
Uh, I didn't think you were gonna stream today. I've been waiting for the next one. What were you playing? Wind Waker. Ooh, are you still on this? On um, the uh, last time I saw him, he was on the Triforce quest. Are you still doing that, or are you uh, on your way to fight Ganon? Did you beat it? Did you beat it? Legend 64, thanks for the follow. What's up, what's up, what's up? Earthbound alerts, you know it. Earthbound is my favorite. Uh, I, I, why am I even like dancing around it? It is my favorite game of all time. Uh, ignore the fact that I'm currently dressed up like you, Narukami. It's a phase. It's a phase right now, since we are playing Persona 4 Golden on stream. My town tune was uh, the eight melodies from Earthbound, but right now it's every day's great at your Jonas. Now check it out, check it out. If I can find somebody to talk to. Wait. I can't interrupt her. Dang it. Yeah, what's up, Andrew? Hope the stream went well. How you doing? Three months, thank you for the resub. Well, welcome back to the chicken coop. Enjoy your hatched egg. Take a look at the sub badges. You start out as an egg. It turns into a little chick. And it grows into a chicken after a couple more months. Isn't it adorable? How are you doing, shortcake? Here's a gift. It's, uh, you know, I never given mer uh, Meringue any new clothes. Let's give her this little sailor outfit. Here you go. Are you sure you want to give me a sailor's tea? Ooh, I can't wait to try this on! Whoa! She's got no pants! I think I regret this. Thanks for this! I think it looks great! I have something here for you! A leopard tea! Look away! Look away! Protect your eyes! Oh no, wait a minute! Yeah! Andrew forgot- No! No! The last time Andrew played Wind Waker, he forgot to save! No, I saw you getting that Triforce piece too. This is why I always... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Scorpion, 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 Scorpion! Ugh! That usually works out. <laughs> Thank you for the dying. I usually walk... My trick for scorpions and tarantulas... If you just walk right up to them, not run, but just walk right up to them, and press your A button at the exact distance away to catch them, they don't have time to chase you. That is like the moment when they spring. So if you get them right before that, you're good. But it's hard when uh, approaching them vertically, because I can't really judge the distance. <laughs> I tried. I tried to be cool in front of a lot of people. It didn't work out. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait! You didn't even save before the Wind Temple? No! I love the Wind Waker, guys. Easily one of my top three Zelda games. But the Wind Temple... It's not terrible, but it is annoying. Annoying in the sense that... Um, it's one of the most open temples. It doesn't like outright tell you where to go. In contrast to all the other temples in Wind Waker like that are somewhat linear, they have you go back to this uh, one hub room again and again and again. And if you lose track of what you've already done, it's very easy to get lost in that temple. So it's fun. It's a nice change of pace from the other temples in the game, but it's not. I wouldn't want to do it again. I'm sorry that happened to you, Andrew. You're dressed up as... Ooh, Deku from My Hero Academia on Animal Crossing. Nice. We've been watching uh, My Hero Academia in the Discord for a while now. We're on Season 4, but I haven't started it yet. Just waiting for a little bit. You know what? I need to assess all these fossils. And I am loving it. I can't believe I missed out on it. After all the years of anime uh, conventions I've been to, seeing all the cosplay... Just, just this year, I've been getting into my hero. Don't fear, citizens, for I am here. I put a smile on my face to hide the fear that comes with being a hero. All Might, my favorite. Nice one, Hilly and Andrew. We should add each other on Switch. Are we not Switch friends? We can play Smash. 
Oh, I'm loving the new Smash character, by the way, Min Min. She's actually got a pretty unique fighting style that kind of vibes with my general strategy. Almost every villager is Donald Duck in it. Cover your eyes! No pants! Yeah, you had a rant about how much you hated that temple. Whoa! I tried to put it in a few uh, kinder words than that. Uh, if you guys like Zelda games uh, and ana analyzing the game design in them, go check out this series on YouTube called Boss Keys by Game Maker's Toolkit. He goes through every single Zelda game. Well, most every Zelda game, he doesn't do like the CDI games. And he analyzes the dungeon design in each and every one. And how they've evolved over time, how they changed. Noticing like trends like, oh, as the games go on, they give you more and more hints. Like, you go to this, uh, you go to this little window in Skyward Sword and you see this very important treasure chest. And then Fi tells you that it's a very important treasure chest. And then you read a plaque saying that's a very important treasure chest. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. I find game design stuff interesting like that. You haven't played Wind Waker in a long time. It has your favorite final boss fight in Zelda. It's not hard, but very fun. I will say for final bosses, uh, I will take cinematic and epic feeling over hard. Uh, there, I, I think there should still be a challenge, of course. But the final boss fight should be something you look forward to. Something that ends the game with a bang. So it can be done that it's just very hard. But let's put it like this. I prefer a final boss that has all the spectacle over a final boss that is super tough and then the ending cutscene is just like, oh, congratulations, you beat it, and then credits. And yes, there are games that are like that. Oh, uh, here, let me put give you an example. You guys ever play Rayman on the PlayStation 1? No joke. No joke. This is the entire ending cutscene. Well, this is somebody's playthrough. I hope it doesn't have commentary. Doesn't look like it. Yep. <laughs> somebody's getting credits. Look, you beat the final boss. Whoa, isn't it awesome? And cutscene. Look at it. You've done it. You saved the world. That's it. That's it. That's the entire ending cutscene. Fireworks, you save the world. Congratulations. End credits. That's it. There's no like to do's about like uh, bringing peace back to the world or uh, cleaning up after the aftermath. No, 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 just, just fireworks. You can hear the crowd in the background saying, Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, awesome. <laughs> uh, Andrew's gonna be lurking, gonna hang out with your sister. Hey, no problem. Uh, if you need my friend code, I'm sorry if I didn't uh, get to it earlier, but there's my friend code in the chat. If you guys want to add it, uh, no problem. I'll add it after stream. Just remind me because I don't have no notifications up on Switch. You like to call him Y'all Knight. Why is he Southern? Never fear. Citizens, because I am here. Christopher Sabat with a Southern accent. I would love to see it. Texas Smash! He already has a Texas Smash, doesn't he? Da -da, ba -ba, ba -ba. Party time. Beautiful. So what am I doing right now? I'm getting all these fossils assessed. I hope there's gonna be a at least one new one. If not, we're gonna have a problem. Blathers? Blathers. Blathers? Look, man, your fear of bugs, it's, you know, it's an endearing character trait and all. 
But it's your job, man. Be a little more professional about it. I might have to report you to the Faraway Museum if you don't clean up your act and give me new fossils. Houston Smash! You would think the cowboy hero guy- Oh, you like the one with the gas mask and the sniper? Would be the one with the sudden accent? Oh, yeah. Right, in the dub, he kind of has like a Spike Spiegel voice. Is- he's not- Is he? Is he voiced by... The uh, Spike Spiegel's voice actor? Steve Blue? Sounds like it. It's got that, um, deep, deep radio voice. Kind of a voice that's good for a hero, but also sometimes a villain. You forgot what he sounds like. Well, I'll get reminded eventually. Ooh! I found something that is not yet part of our esteemed collection. It is magnificent indeed. You have a talent. Oh, by the way, if you're new to the stream, uh, welcome, by the way. My name is Chris Manokadobo, if you're wondering how to pronounce the stream title. I like to play Nintendo games, RPGs, ones where I can read the dialogue out loud and uh, do, a little, do, some, do some funny voices. Sometimes, sometimes. I, I can't guarantee they're any good. But, you know, I have fun with it. Brachio pelvis. Ah, uh, yes. I shoved my pelvis in your face. Take it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Could it be? It is a brachio pelvis. Does this mean? Yes, it is done. The brachiosaurus is complete and a splendid specimen indeed. It was a remarkable creature. Pray tell, may I enlighten you with a few, with a few facts? Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Brachiosaurus, whose name means arm lizard, hey, what? was one of the largest herbivorous dinosaurs. Due to its long front legs and elongated neck, it seems to have specialized in eating plants up high. Alas, in order to support its large size, it likely needed to eat more or less every waking hour. Sounds like the life. Oh, I'm jealous. Why can't I live like that? What a ferocious forager it must have been indeed. And there you have it. Thank you, bladders. What's up, Ivy? Did you find static? You did not find static. Oh, don't tell me you settled for another villager. I, it's been so long since I've done villager hunts on stream. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> it just does not line up. The fact that it's so rare to have one of your villagers asked to leave and you only get like two days before somebody else just moves in. It's not fair, man. My streaming schedule is not that flexible. I try and I try. Leopard tea, let's put it on. Whoa! Beautiful. I'll keep this for a little bit. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, nothing much going on in my town today. We did some diving, we caught some more bugs and fish. And now uh, we're just cleaning up. Just doing a little cleanup. Because my town is getting overrun by flowers, and it is horrible. Get out of here. Lilies are my native flowers, so I do not. I do not need this many. Yeah, let me get up, get rid of all the, like, standard colored ones. You settle for no one. Ran out of tickets. Uh-oh. Wouldn't it be amazing if Static just naturally appeared and moved in to your empty plot? He was waiting for you. You just needed to give him faith. My voices are wonderful. Thank you, Sapphire Velvet. We got two Sapphires in chat. Uh-oh, I have to specify now. <laughs> Am I okay? I'm, I'm okay. I just need to drink a little bit of water. Ah, there you go. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see. Oh, I'm full up. Time to sell again. Oh, also check out this little uh, excavation pit. Look at that. The museum, right next to the, the dig site. My island, I don't really plan big areas. This pirate cove was like the biggest area I've ever planned on purpose. I just kind of think, wouldn't it be cool if there was a little dig site here? Wouldn't it be cool if there's a little uh, area with trees and stumps here. And I just put it there. Da -da 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 -da. 
if anybody uh, is looking at my town and sees opportunities for something cool to add, I will gladly consider it. Here's my little turnip farm. Uh, it's been empty for a while. Haven't bought any turnips. I still have 10 million bells, so I am good on cash. There can be only one! Is Sapphire the Highlander now? Uh-oh. Now, now, be nice. Just someday, someday I want to go hunt for villagers again. This is why I've been so adamant about, like, rotating out the villagers I have right now. But if so far, it's just been through amiibo scanning and uh, campsite villagers. The thrill of the hunt. It's been so long since I felt it. I got, I got, I gotta get the dopamine hit again. Just someday, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't play Animal Crossing on stream too often anymore. Just when kind of new stuff happens. We've been playing a lot of long games on stream lately. Paper Mario, Persona 4. Still working through Majora's Mask. I'm focusing on finishing those. That's what I usually kind of play. Uh, Animal Crossing was a fantastic, fantastic break from reality for a while. And I will, I promise to return to it every now and then when events or new updates happen. There's gonna be one in August, but I... Th I'm definitely gonna play it again sometime before then. Just... I just need to find the time. Dun -da 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 -da. Ivy looked for static on a total of 455 islands. You counted? Well, I guess you just counted the tickets, huh? Gosh! At that point, at that point, I would pay actual money to get a static amiibo card. Honestly. The time you spend. Might as well, like, work at my job over time for ju just that little bit extra. And pay, like, what, 15 bucks for an amiibo card? It's a ridiculous amount for a piece of paper with an NFC tag on it. But heck. But heck, my time. It is... Scarce as it is. Sapphire Velvet Shock wants to get ketchup. I, uh, my friend had ketchup back in Animal Crossing New Leaf. My friend had an island, or a town that was almost all ducks. And it was, it was just pretty thematic. If it was easier to switch out your villagers at any given notice, I would have seasonal villager layouts. Like, maybe this month I'm all ducks. This month I'm all cats. But alas, tis not very convenient. Two more fossils. Wouldn't you know it. I hope Nintendo adds in gyroids sometime soon. I'm getting tired of digging up these things. I've honestly not dug up fossils in weeks. Dun, da, da. If there was a way to scan amiibos into your friend's islands, that would also be fantastic. Because I got a lot of amiibo cards. I just... I just don't really have the space in my town for new villagers. But I have cards that people want, for sure. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You know that, sh uh, that YouTube channel, Boundary Break? Where the guy uses either cheat codes or camera hacks to look at hidden stuff in games? Ooh, what is this? Whoa, this is... I gotta see an anemone. The enemy of my anemone is my frenemy. Let's do some more diving. The problem is, uh, he put in he put out a video about Animal Crossing before this update came out, and Nintendo copyright claimed it. They copyright claimed it. They took it down. It's sad. Oh look, more clams. I got a scallop. It oughter be savored. Does that mean that doesn't mean Pascal is gonna come out right now, is he? Oh, I wanted to see him, man. I was ready. 
I love that he's back. I don't know what brings him out though. It's been months since you dug up fossils. Rohan, did you finish your fossil section of your museum? Or do you just give up like me? I have never... Wait! Wait! Hey man! I bought that scallop of yours. Can I... Can I have it? Sure. Here you go. Whoa! Thanks for your generosity, man! Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I'll keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you for a scallop if I find one. Forget give and take. This is called give and give. That is how we all win, you dig? Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. They say that yesterday is gone, but I can still see it on my calendar, man. Deep. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep, today's a good day. Yeah, man. Goodbye, Pascal. Thank you for the nuggets of wisdom. Wait. Where are you going? I want to learn more. <gasps> no. Oh, you sneaky son of... You know that's out of bounds for me. Oh. I love Pascal, man. He's so down to earth. He's the real homie. Pascal is adorable. I... So... <laughs> the accent I gave him. Uh, normally, I'd go for, like, the stoner accent. Like, totally, man. I kind of gave that to Harvey. I kind of made him Tommy Chong. So, uh, why not? Why not make Pascal Cheech Marin? Not a reference that everybody will get, but I thought it made sense. I don't want to give them both Tommy Chong. Like, man, that's just, that doesn't even make sense, man. We can't both have the same voice. We got a moon jellyfish, pretty good. He's taunting you. Taunting you. He can't taunt me. This isn't even Smash Brothers. <laughs> you were gonna say. I'm, I'm glad that my impression was actually on point. You gotta go with the Cheech and Chong, man. I don't know if Pascal and Harvey ever interact, but if they did, they'd be best friends. You know it. Acorn Barnacle. I wonder if it turns into an Oak Barnacle. You are close. Wonderful. I've been talk I've, I've been talking about the new Pokemon Snap that's coming out. I'm using my smartphone underwater. I hope it's waterproof. IP67 at least, please. You ought to know. If you if you meet a laid-back fellow floating in the sea, consider sharing some of your scallops with him. You will never know what you might learn in return, and a little gift never hurts either. Get Miles. Little Miss Benoffy, thanks for the follow. Kind of cynic. Cynic? What does that have to do with Pascal? What the heck? No, no, no. No, no, no. No cynicism in my Animal Crossing. I got enough of that in Twitter. Whatever this is, I want to... Oh, it's a sea anemone. I want to put it, like, as a decoration. Do they let me... Do they let me just put it down as a decoration outside? I'm going to try it. Bradderfield is online. Da -da -da -da. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. This is a relaxing activity. I like the little detail they added. Hello, little Ma Miss Benoffy. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Wait a minute. We got new seaweed. I got some seaweed. I couldn't kelp myself. Always got to have that button handy when you're uh, fishing in Animal Crossing in any sort. What recipe did I get? Good question, actually. Check my inventory. I got the mermaid vanity. Ooh, I want to make that. I want to make that as soon as possible. 
uh, Pascal gives you the recipes for mermaid furniture. Amanda X June fourteen twenty six. Thanks for the follow. Pascal gives you mermaid furniture. I don't remember what he gave you in New Leaf, but heck, I welcome more furniture sets. We've been kind of working with the same furniture for for the, since the game came out. Not a lot of the updates have really added that much. Like, sure, you get, like, the egg furniture, bunny day. You get, like, the cherry blossom stuff. But they're all very, very seasonal. Like, you wouldn't keep it in your house all day. Every day of the year. I'm glad we're getting more stuff that's a little more... All year round, you know? You're taking all the jellyfish. Leave some for me. Well, actually, um, go ahead, take them. Uh, I don't want to get stung. Yeah, good on you, Amanda. Nintendo and their puns. They're like sands. <laughs> What's wrong with puns? I find them pretty punny myself. You got the wallpaper. Nice. Is it animated? Uh, I think the other day I got, like, the fish wallpaper. The summer, like, fish wallpaper, so I might make that. I'm gonna make a sea room. You know what? I've decided. Whoa, what, what, what is that? I got a sea pineapple! Your move, sea pizzas! Nintendo really likes that joke these days. They had that splat fest about pizza on pineapple. Uh, your lazy villagers sometimes say, like, Ah, uh, it's just a trendy thing to do, man. Like, hating pizza on pineapple. But hey, like what you like, dude. Nintendo. Eh? Whoa, this is... I got an octopus. It can give four hugs at once. <gasps> no wonder Marina is so lovable. Wait a minute. You know, if you give... Lazy villagers, a fish, they talk about eating it. Can, can, can I, can I, can I give Zucker an octopus? Of course, uh, Zucker isn't an octopus, he's a giant takoyaki. So it's totally fine if he eats octopus, he's already filled with it. Ba-ba-da-da. Ooh. Fresh ingredient. I can be, I can, 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 I can. Egg. This is all I ever wanted. I am now complete. Not getting too much new stuff. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I. I was gonna say I don't know if the stuff you get from diving is on like a schedule, just like the regular fish. But I already saw that in the Critterpedia. So question answered. Only the freshest eggs allowed here. You know it. I uh, saw my birthday. My birthday is the day before your daughter's. Yeah! My birthday ain't all that lucky. Ooh, another summer shell. What's up, bam? My birthday, September 13th. I was actually born on a Friday. Fried egg the 13th. The crispiest day of the year. Hey, uh, Kaplang, nothing like a nighttime walk to get you all pumped up, right? Every time I see Bam out and about, he's talking about exercising, but he's just like sitting on his butt eating ice cream, sitting on a chair reading a book. He's an intellectual, he just acts like a jock. He just doesn't want people to think he's soft. Come on, Bam. Like what you like. Whoa, now we're talking. I love your horizontal striped wetsuit. Half the fun of having giant muscles is showing them off. You can't beat acting wear for that, Kablang. Kablang! 
Bam is a treasure. Bam is a treasure. Where do you get the swimming clothes? Oh yeah, they're in the shop cabinet. Um, hopefully it's not too late for you. Hopefully you haven't, um, hopefully it's the, the shop's not closed. Because if, if it is, uh, you either have to wait till tomorrow or uh, get it by Nook Shopping. The problem is Nook Shopping takes a day to deliver. <laughs> Nook's Cranny, yeah. It's in the cabinet, uh, you know, the place where you get uh, tools and uh, wallpaper stuff. Speaking of Nook Shopping, let's see what's new. Special goods. Leaf? This is a wetsuit? Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's like beachwear. I want this. What else we got? Nothing much. Nothing much. I already got these. We're good. Nothing wrong with being soft, bam. Although you know his muscles are rock hard. Let me see if I can decorate with a sea and yum and yummies. It's 7.40 a.m. where you are. Oh, well, perfect. Oh, wait, no. It's not open yet, huh? All right, just a little, just like 20 more minutes, you can go buy it. No problemo. It's 11.40 p.m. where I am, but I have my clock set three hours off. Because every time I stream, it's late at night, so I'd never be able to get anything done if I streamed on actual time. So my Switch has been off three hours for like the longest time. Let's learn this mermaid vanity. Let's make one. That'll be my goal. It took a few hours for it to arrive. Not the next day. It is the next day. If you play through five, eight, well, actually, I don't know. In my experience, it comes after the day rolls over. So when it hits 5 a.m. in game time. But I don't know. Maybe it does come after a few hours. I've never like waited around to check. Let's go donate some more stuff to Blathers, too. Let's see. What does that DIY need? Look at that. That's cute. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It needs... I need to... I need the forward shells. Also... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pascal said something about pearls and I totally ignored it. Do you just like craft scallops or what? Dun dun. Dolphin went to uninstall the new update and you accidentally uninstalled the game. Wait! No! Hopefully your save date is still there, Dolphin. Oh, please tell me your save date is still there. Oh, that would suck. You spent so much time. You spent so much time. Just too excited. Just too excited to play. I need two giant clams and a coral, right? I might have giant clams. Dobie has been here for three days. Not really three days. Dobie, 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 get away from that. What do you... Sure. <laughs> he believed in me. He believed in me this whole time. Ah, they ain't so tough. Yeah, you don't gotta be so careful around them. I know you could catch it. I believed in you all this time. I cut a horned atlas. It didn't even need a map. I can't carry anything else. Oh! Uh, we'll get rid of a sand dollar. Perfect. Oh, I got so much stuff to take care of right now. Let's donate stuff so I don't accidentally sell it and then empty our pockets. Ba -dum -dum, do -do 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 -do. You bought it at 1 a.m. and sped up your time to 10 a.m. Yeah, as long as you pass 5 a.m., it count that's when the day rolls over in Animal Crossing. It doesn't roll over at midnight, it rolls over at 5 a.m. So when you order something, you have to wait until at least 5 a.m. the next day. I'm sorry, Dolphin. Please, I hope you got your save data backed up. Oh, wait, no. 
Animal Crossing isn't on the online backup. Well, they said they were gonna add some sort of app or something to back up your town. What? Come on, Nintendo. It's been months. People have substantial progress. Don't, don't allow them to lose it that easily. If you archive or delete it, your save data is still saved. Oh, good. I was wondering if like one of those options still deleted the save game data. Ooh, more than one I see. Oh, good. Oh, good. This game doesn't have cloud backups. Yeah. They wanted to stop people from like duplicating items and backing up their saves in case like their um in case their turnip prices were bad and they like wanted to cheat but it's just, i don't know i i this is a game where cheating doesn't really matter that much like cool you got a pretty town like weeks before anybody else a few weeks later and people will be caught up anyway it doesn't really change a lot. It's not like a competitive ranked game or anything like that. It's it's Animal Crossing. You play it to relax. Hootie hoo! This must be a sea anemone! Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea anemone anemone? Medusa herself would be most impressed by the sea anemone. This pretty predator loves to wave its color of flowing locks about. But those gorgeous tresses are, in fact, deadly tentacles surrounding a hungry mouth. Triggered by the slightest touch, these tentacles harpoon victims with neurotoxin. The sea anemone then pulls the helpless, hapless prey into its mouth for a spot of lunch. I say, let this be a lesson. Never, ever make an enemy out of an enemy. An, an, an anemone. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? There you go. Next. What we got, what we got? Give you a bug. Make you freak out. <laughs> oh, oh, that list what a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen here? Yeah. Beha beware the horned atlas. I tell you, this rhinoceros beetle is known for its violent temperament. The males use the large horns on their heads to fight amongst each other for dominance. But it is their young that truly give me the cold sweats. You see, their larvae grow quite large, and worst of all, they bite. It is the stuff of nightmares, I say. Anywho, my sincerest thanks. Beetle tendency. They have, like, beetle fights in Japan. Kids, um, obviously, um, the act of catching bugs in Animal Crossing is kind of based on a pastime in Japan where kids just get bug nets and catch the bugs flying around. And they would make their, they would make beetles fight each other like Beyblades. Ooh, why, this is a sea pineapple. Now, I might have interested in a few fascinating facts. Try not to gawk as you look around upon the sea pineapple. Its peculiar look is simply one of nature's many jokes. Though it may look like a half-rotten hunk of fruit, the sea pineapple is no plant, shellfish, or even sea slug. It is a tunicate. What, what? A fancy name for a shallow water filter feeder with a taste for plankton. A tunicate? It should be noted that the sea pineapple looks like a tadpole when it's young and can still swim about. Alas, its youthful cuteness wears off once it attaches itself for good to a rock. Ah, but let's put insults aside. Sea pineapples are full of water, you see, and I fear we're asking for a squirt in the eye. And there you have it. Oh, don't look too closely. Beetle fights. That's what Pokemon was based off of. That's true. Big, bad, beetle borgs. It's amazing the inspiration... Uh, all the inspira- a lot of inspiration in Nintendo games just comes from developers' childhoods. Like Pokemon, Animal Crossing, when, uh, Miyamoto created Legend of Zelda, it's based on his experiences as a kid, just, uh, exploring the Japanese countryside, going into caves and seeing what's inside. Werewolf, thanks for the host. Ooh, woohoo! This is undoubtedly some seaweed! How you doing, Werewolf, by the way? Have you been having a good day? Did you check out the new update in Animal Crossing? We're donating our catches to Blathers. Um, he's telling us interesting facts. 
Let it be known that seaweed is a misnomer of the highest order. That is, it is not a noxious weed, so much as it is a marine algae most beneficial to life on land and sea. Seaweed, you see, provides essential habitat and food for all manner of marine creatures. And it creates a great deal of the oxygen we land lovers love to breathe, too. <laughs> And yet, I can't help but shudder when that slimy stuff touches my toes during a swim. Ooh, the horror! It reminds you of bugs. Let it rip! And now I'm imagining kids taking beetles and, like, spinning them into a Beyblade arena. And they just, uh, they just spin, like, tops until one of them just knocked out of the ring. Oh, poor beetles. Thank you! Poor beetle. Today's been alright. No, what's the new update? Oh, you haven't checked? Uh, they added diving back into the game from New Leaf. You can wear a wetsuit, much like the one I am wearing right now. And, uh, you can go out into the ocean, uh, dive, uh, catch various sea animals on the ocean floor. Hooty hoo! This must be an octopus! Yeah, it's really, it's really fun. It's a... It would be a nice thing to do with friends. Like, uh, set the timer and then have a little fish caching contest under the sea. Down where it's wetter, down where it's better. Take it from me. Oh, Soul Sapphire's heading to bed. Good night, Soul Sapphire. Thanks for hanging out. I hope, uh, it's been a chill day for you. Uh, I hope, uh, cleaning up the town didn't, uh, bore you too much. It's always nice seeing you, uh... But, uh, have a good one. Sleep well, okay? With its eight limbs, three hearts, and surprisingly big brain, the octopus is quite the wonder. It is also an escape artist like no other. You see, the octopus has specialized skin cells that can change color and texture with lightning speed. Thus, it can look for all the world like a patch of seabed one minute and a pile of rocks the next. But the deception doesn't stop there, what what? When attacked by a predator, the octopus releases a cloud of ink and poof! Makes its escape. Let's just call the octopus what it is, shall we? The ninja of the deep. It streams on Twitch. Mixer, too bad. It's gone. All right. I know we have a scallop. I need to double check if that's what gives you pearls. I don't think so. Let me make sure if I can craft it or not. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Never a boring time with me. Well, thank you, Soul Sapphire. You flatter me. You flatter me. Go to bed. Go to bed, you. Sapphire Velvet Shock is the one remaining Sapphire. You win. At least for now. You hold the crown of current Sapphire ruler of the land. Wear it proudly for the time being. You win. I'm still out of here. Sitting next to an axe. What are you planning? Not talking, eh? Craft it up. What is craftable right now? A bunch of weed stuff. Whatever. King Komodo, thanks for the follow. Hope y'all are doing well. Whatever you're doing tonight. Playing Animal Crossing, chilling, relaxing, eating dinner. Hope y'all are well. Yeah. An axe and the ocean. Just in case. The old man in the sea, you know? Buffy's wearing her sailor uniform. She's ready to fight evil by moonlight. Moon prism power up! Sup, chicken man. Glad you swung by, Nightshade. I want to check. I look pretty good in a magical dress, eh? <laughs> I always love when I see folks wearing clothes, I get them. And I gave her that one. She remembered me. Wow. Her house is still very plain, though. King Komodo hates her island. Hey! All the more reason to work on it and make it better. Little by little, you know? Rome wasn't built in a day, and uh, I tell you, this island wasn't built in a day either. I tell you right now, this is the nicest looking part of my island just because I made sure to plan it all out. Pro tip, if you want to make your island look better than it really is, 
make the bottom right corner of your island look the best it can because that's where the plane flies over where so when somebody visits so that's the first thing they see the rest of your island can look like absolute trash and it won't even matter it'll matter it'll matter a little bit a little bit eh what 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 wait a minute leaf bug ha! yes i got a walking leaf it seems to be taking it in stride Taking it in stride. Oh my gosh, it really, it really is. It really is just an item. It looked like a little item leaf until it turned into a bug. Old Man in the Sea is a great book. I remember reading it in grade school. You regretted choosing a Southern Hemisphere? Do you, Kinko? I don't know a lot of people who chose it, but the ones I do know who chose it are just loving the fact that it's winter right now, and then just a few weeks ago, they got all the mushroom stuff. What are you not liking about it? Is it just that uh, the seasons don't match up with the seasons where you live? If I had a second Switch, I would make another island that's Southern Hemisphere, because they get, they're get they getting cool stuff ahead of time. Chris, I need a favor. Maybe you've heard, but I had a fight with Olivia over something unimportant. I said something I shouldn't have, and I felt really bad about that, so I got her a gift to make up. I'm having a hard time facing her right now, though, so I was hoping maybe you could deliver it for me. Ooh. If this were real life, I said you should deliver it. Like, you should show up, or else the other person might think like, Oh, they won't even face me? This, is, this gift is an empty platitude. But this is Animal Crossing, so I probably have to do it for her. Oh, this means so much. Thank you. Here's the gift. I know it's getting too late to do it tonight, but do you think you'll be able to deliver this tomorrow? What, really? Do I have to? You know what? She's probably asleep. That's why. It's winter for you, and it's July. Ah, I'm jealous. I love winter. Fall and winter are my favorite seasons. Summer's nice and all. It's too hot. I'd take cold over hot any day. Can I not, can I not, can I not just, can I not just deliver it now? I presume you like to visit because you find my home both stylish and comfortable. Yeah. Delivery here. Oh my, what could this be? Oh look, it's even wrapped with a little colored ribbon. So, this is from Meringue. For, for me? Hmm. What could it be? Oh, well, how about that? It's a Kung Fu tea. Oh, I don't, I don't know if that's the best makeup present, Meringue. You know, I'm not sure this sort of thing suits me, but it was a gift, I suppose. You should try it. You know what? You're right. There's no harm in just seeing how it looks. Hold on a moment. Whoa, fancy. You know what? I would have never expected it, but I like it. I like it. Well, how do I look? It looks great. Do you really think so? You're not just flattering me. Well, thank you very much. Meringue went out and picked up such a thoughtful gift for me. She's such a sweetheart. I guess I should go apologize to her as well so we can finally put all of this behind us. Now, if you're worried about my friend and me, don't be. I'm sure we'll patch things up thanks in no small part to your delivery. I can't thank you enough. I suppose I can start by giving you an ironing set. I do hope you like it. That fireplace, though. Yeah, I, do I have that DIY? I think that's a DIY. Now don't even try to say no, Nya. It would make me so happy to see you happy, and you wouldn't want to take that away from me, now would you? Uh, sure. Happy. Whatever. <laughs> Did not pay any attention. See, that's a problem with me reading all the text out loud. I don't actually internalize it. I do better reading, like, to myself. Fireplace. I don't have a fireplace. I don't know if it's a DIY or not. Ivy Rose got Freya. Freya, I used to have Freya in a past town. I don't remember which game. She's pretty nice. She's pretty nice. Not as nice as Whitney. And I always confuse the two. But I know, I think Freya's snooty. Alphabetical. Fireplace. Fireplace. Firewood. I guess I don't have fireplace. Unless it's called, like, Brick Fireplace. Bum, bum, bum. 
Ba -ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> People are always surprised by the big Yoshi. This is why I keep it out here. It used to be in front of Pietro's house. Now it doesn't quite make sense. But I keep it for posterity. Posteriority. Speaking of, I was thinking about starting Yoshi's Island uh, pretty soon. We might start it next week. I'm not sure. I... I'd be more comfortable if I started it after I finish Majora's Mask. We're playing through that. We're at Stone Tower Temple, so we're not too far from beating the game. I think we got two streams left of it. Um, so with regards to that game, I, 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 I think I can finish it if I schedule it twice next week. We'll see. Yoshi's Island will start sometime after that. I was playing it on my Super Nintendo. Uh, it works like a dream. It's amazing. Uh, it plays wonderfully. I don't know why I never played it before. It's great. Thanks thanks for dropping my gift over with Olivia. How did Olivia react? Pretty well, I think. Oh, it's such a relief to hear that. Thanks to you, I think we may be able to be able to patch things up. Eep pop boop. Hoi 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 hoi. Dang it, I gotta go donate stuff again now. Every day is great at your Juness. This is the best decision I've made all day. I guess I'll donate the scallop. I guess I'm not making that mermaid vanity today. I wanted to. Hey, a walking leaf! What a wretched thing. You were getting a wall villager for your Scooby-Doo gang, but you weren't leaning on Flare. You wanted Sky. Ah, uh, yes. The eternal conundrum. I myself am waiting for a villager to move out so that I can get Adi from my friend. Uh, that's the wolf villager I want. I know I have Dobie, but like... Maybe they can be friends. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. What a fraud. What a phony. The walking leaf is, in fact, the very embodiment of a lie. This master mimic looks like a tree leaf all the way down to the tiniest details. In fact, this bug has been known to sway to and fro as it walks, just so it looks like a leaf blown by the wind. And the fakery works. These insects look so much like leaves that even leaf-eating insects nibble on them. Lying lies indeed. Blathers who hurt you. Do you have trust issues? I'm sorry. Dun, dun. Wait, the scallop. Yeah. Scallop potatoes. Delicious in my tummy. Yummy, yummy. I might be a little bit hungry. I shouldn't be. I ate a big dinner. I had curry and fried chicken. Fried chicken curry, basically. This has been a good day. Anytime it's the beginning of a month, and, uh, you know, Nintendo makes a new update, Blathers gets an entire truckload of donations. And I mean a truckload, because I gave him a whale shark earlier today. Why, this is a scallop! Goes good with a little bit of butter. Yes, uh, fry it in the pan. Ah, the scallop. It just goes to show you can't keep a good bivalve down. While most members of its family are known for staying put, the scallop is a nimble fellow indeed. The scallops move around? I want to see a video of that. When a hungry sea star approaches, the scallop can swim away by clap, clap, clapping its shells together. Ah, Colonel. I'm trying to escape this sea star. But the clap, clap, clap of my... <laughs> of my shell alerts the... <laughs> How does a scallop know when a predator approaches, you ask? Why, it has 200 eyes to see with! Others? Others, I didn't need to know that? I like eating scallops, but I don't think I like knowing I'm eating 200 eyeballs. It makes one wonder what the else the scallop sees with all those eyes. I fear it's seasoned my very soul. 
Oh, I'm safe then. I don't got one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario time. Where did the time go? It was like right before three hours the last time I checked, and now it's four. I... I, I we gotta wrap it up. We gotta wrap it up. I'm, I'm just like doing nothing right now. I love playing Animal Crossing, but... Eh, I, I've shown off what this new update has to show. What it has to offer for us today. I'm good. I'm good. I can start. I can continue playing. I can continue playing. Oh, uh, question for the chat for anybody who just tuned in. As a reward for uh, sticking it out to the end. Wait, what time is it in game? Never mind. Or actually, yeah, we still got time. As a reward for sticking it out. Who still has turnips? Who still has turnips? Who still has turnips? Uh, the turnip- the current price for turnips is 599 US bells. 599 US dollars. This is- this- this is- this is the biggest I've ever seen it. My store is open for one more hour. Nobody? Ah, oh, well. It's the thought that counts, I guess. Why David Hater? Cause he claps! He claps, don't you know? Don't you know? Uh, Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. That's why. <sighs> Nobody has turnips. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't been checking my turnip prices that closely, but now is the time. Do I have this yet? Mounted black bass. The most metal of all fish! Wait! Is that... It looks like... It looks like one of those big mouth billy bass. Does it sing? Oh, I want it to sing. Oh, sorry guys. Next time. Next time. I'll warn you guys. I'll... I'll... I'll, I'll try to go back to checking my prices more closely. Ah, Colonel. I just want to put this fish on the wall and check out what's going on with it. You know, if it's having a good day, if it needs, if it needs somebody to talk to. Nope. 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 Doesn't, doesn't move. Doesn't talk. A whale. It sings death clock songs. Oh, so metal. So metal. Wake up. Very much but a little makeup. That's not death clock. I don't even know if that's metal. Ah, I'm gonna check if I can put down a C. Yum and yum and yum and yum. Place item. Ooh. I like it. I like it. I like it, I like it. I'm keeping that. The other ones... Does anybody know if CJ can make models out of these? I'm I'm keeping them, if so. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep at least three of each. I would love to make a model and them 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 and Besides that... Much going on? I think I think we're good. I'm gonna go sell off the rest of this stuff and uh, think about who to raid. Can you get a fish that sings every day, young life? Junesu. Maybe if it sings the town tune, it really could. But no, I'm sorry. I wish. What kind of fish is that? The Nanako bass. It's at least a C plus. Make a cow model. Make this. Yeah, that. <laughs> exactly, Yellow Pikachu. That. That which has eluded us, eluded us for for generations. Mm. 
Many have tried, but they were too much of a coward to do so. They needed to beef up their skills before they could even attempt to make a model of the dairy cow. Alright, okay. I got all my ducks in a row. So I think we're ready to call it for tonight. Not much else to do. So what? Uh, it's been fun, guys. Keep it real. I'll see you tomorrow at Persona 4. And you know what that means. It means, uh, dungeon crawling, social linking, and all that fun stuff. Persona 4 tomorrow. Uh, I'll have a day off, so... If it's sad, I know it is, Yolo Pikachu. It's sad. I mean, if all things go to plan, if I don't sleep too late tonight, uh, I'm gonna try to play Persona 4 starting at 2 p.m. tomorrow. 2 p.m. so that I can go a little bit later if I need to, or I can just end a little bit earlier if I need to. And then Saturday will be normal stream time. Yeah. Persona, 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 Social Link, Social Link, Social Links. Day off. Also sad. Oh no! Alright, 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 alright. Um, let's see if there's any art. If you guys ever have any fan art for the stream, uh, either based off the games I play or the chicken -y theme, post it to the Discord or tweet it at me, and then I will show it on the stream. Nothing today, but maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah, if you haven't already, you can follow me on Twitch to catch me live next time I play this or any other game. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube for past videos. Follow the Twitter, Discord, updates, and all that stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking it out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming out to the stream tonight. And I uh, chillin'. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I miss this game. I miss this game even though it didn't even go anywhere. It's just been waiting. So patient. So patient Animal Crossing is. Uh, if you need to go to sleep, I will let you. Have a good night. Have a good one. Please, please, please go to bed and rest up. Rest up for whatever you're doing this weekend. Or not doing. Whatever it is. Just, just take care of yourselves, okay? Have a good night and stay clucky. See you next time.